What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew the Dude and today we're going to be playing Killer Frequency. Okay, listen, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a long one. Uh, four hours. Yeah, for sure. Um, I decided to just put everything together and not just cut it up. So if you do make it through the video, let me know if you made it all the way through in the comments. I greatly appreciate it. Enjoy some Killer Frequency. See you. Bye. Why are there mattresses and stuff back here? Oh my God. Sad. I don't even know what I'm doing. I shouldn't be touching this type to control uh, opening doors. Boom, oh, there it is. Ah! Close the freaking door. What's that? Uh, let's put that right there. Whoa, whoa. Wait, was there somebody at the door? Oh! Time to move, buddy. Ooh. Let's go. You uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know uh, how. Forrest, is this a joke? They no, just heard I, the person die. I swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean. Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, <laughs> you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us oh. to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Yo, I like this music. Let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. Hold on, let's turn this down, let's turn this down. Thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Reggie all the way. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay. Boom. Let's turn that up a little bit. Okay, you're live in three, two... Oh, wait, uh huh? It's 12 a.m. Oh, okay. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. 189.16. Tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, uh -huh. I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. Oh. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and. Guess that scream. I need a little need bit, bit more enthusiasm in your voice, Did please. They stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Uh, uh. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Uh, oh, be real. these are tapes right here. I guess that scream is a terrible idea. Uh, uh, uh. No, I, I don't have the tape. Oh. It may be a stupid idea, that but right that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need to scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so. What? Um, are you serious? I won't do it. Um, I hate what I've become. Really, Peggy? You want you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. 
Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Guess that scream. Uh, a perturbed Yeti scream. <laughs> uh, the falling from a cliff scream. The drowning scream. I'm going to do falling from a cliff. the heck is this bro well folks there you have it call in with sound like a freaking if flute you, ride, you could win two tickets to the amazing maze maze and one free fried dough what? fried dough fried dough just call in at 555-239 kfam with your guest now here's some music while you get dialing okay uh music 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 play that yeah. Okay, should I induce the song? Um, time responses. Some uh, responses have a time limit, but it might be better not to respond in uh, some situations. Oh, it, yeah, I'm going to introduce time the song. to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Whoa. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Okay, um... All right. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh, 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 oh. Time to turn the music off. Okay, okay. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, this? Oh, no, 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 wrong. Welcome to 189.16... The scream. The scream. Uh, You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made You're it talking through. to Drew Ledoux. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Why are you calling me? What the heck? Uh, are you calling uh to the scream? Um, slow night. Shouldn't you be working? Leslie, I've got to say I'm always happy to have a caller, but uh. <laughs> Shouldn't our 911 operator and police dispatcher be minding the phones? What? Oh, Forrest, you have no idea. Listen, I found a body. I need your help. <laughs> Why do you need my help? Is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. Well, there's multiple this is of them. Real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Oh, uh, you should call the sheriff. Uh, are you serious? Uh, you should call the sheriff. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name, Sheriff? Andrews or whatever. I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Oh damn. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh god, poor Sheriff Matthews. Dang. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Uh, where are the other officers? Uh, is there anyone else uh, at the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No, I checked everywhere. You Deputy checked by Martinez yourself? here. But she's knocked out, tied uh, up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. <laughs> what officer Gunder three, yeah, that makes it way better. Yeah, yes, for please. sure. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. 
Forrest, I have routed all 911 calls to come into you. What? Whoa! I am not a dispatcher. What are you talking about? You routed all 911 calls to me. What are we going to freaking put them on live? Why me? No, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Dude, you can count on me. Bro, this is a bad idea. No. This is a bad idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. <laughs> You're the only person equipped for the job. Damn, okay. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. Mm. You ask questions to get information you can use. Okay. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. <sighs> I have an emergency. Oh. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. Okay. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Um, try to break down the door, uh, find another way into the cell. Find the set of keys. I say find the set of keys. Another set of keys yeah. somewhere in that office. It has to be. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Can't break into a cell. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Um, check the officer's desk. Check Sheriff Matthews. Yeah, check Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him. He's not going to be able to use them. You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. I like this second. music. Oh, I think I might be sick. Uh, Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just going to turn you over and... Oh, please don't stare at me. The, uh, he's dead. Calm I, down, Leslie. Oh, wait. Come on, you can do this. That might be them. Mm, let's go. I, I, I think I got the cell keys. Good. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I'm scared. I'm freaking scared. I'm scared, bruh. I'm fucking... Oh, my God. Hold on. It is freaking cold in here. Oh, uh, okay. I can't, I can't handle this all night. Uh, I think we can handle this. Uh, I'm quitting. If this is a prank. I... You, uh, that, that comes off... You know what? Uh, I think we can handle this. I, you know what? I think we can handle this. I think we can do it. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed to go okay. Maybe yeah. Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I, well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. Okay. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Uh, it's the right thing to do. Uh, you're leaving. We're on a. Oh, we're on our own. Hmm. It's That's the right a good thing idea. to do. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What the f Was that an explosion? What? My car! My car is on fire! Oh, what do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? I heard the whistling before. No. Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? What's that noise? It sounds like whistling. 
whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask and how the hell is he? Oh, who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? The whistling, the whistling man? man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. I mean, he just blew up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Lock the door. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. I need to stop throwing paper balls. I need to stop throwing paper balls. My car is torched. We need to think. Okay, uh, run for it. Hide in the station. Uh, take police cruiser. Uh, hide in station. I think you need to stay put and hide in the station. Oh. You should be safe in there. We can't just stay in here. I need to go get help. And what if he gets in? What if he finds us? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Yeah. Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh... I'll just... Reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Okay. Keys for squad car three. Cool. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But... Wait... How am I supposed to get us to the car? Uh, my dad is right there. Oh, uh, take share of Matthew's gun. Wait, wait, wait. Take share. No, no. Take, take Martinez's gun. Matthew's gun is like, uh, it's all used up. All the bullet casings. Martinez. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Okay. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? But it, it doesn't have any bullets in it. Let me grab it. I... Shit. It's empty. Yeah. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Yeah. Okay. Um. Is there a locked up weapon? Can you see any other weapons? Uh. You know what? Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Okay. Come on. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. Okay. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Um, okay. Uh, pepper spray, taser, or baton? Uh, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about that zap zap. You know what I mean? Uh, let's 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 take that zap zap. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No. 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 I I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Oh. Can you still see the whistling man? Maybe he left. Be careful. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell her. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. Be yep. There you go. So is she conscious now? Sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Okay. If I reach it. <sighs> All right. Okay. Good luck, Leslie. Good. good. I'm not gonna yell it, cause what if what if like the radio is too loud? I'm gonna be like, well, good luck. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. You know, I've got to say. This really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Okay. Give me this. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. I have no idea how to put that back. Hello? Forrest? Oh. Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, 10-4. 
That's a big 10 four there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car. Then? Why am I joking? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. CB yes, chat. We made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. Okay. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Whoa, 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 what, 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 what? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah, take that! Let's go, Leslie! Get out Leslie, of there! What are you waiting for? Get out of there! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Oh my god. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or Forrest, that taser? Definitely the Let's right go! Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> god is that you saved a life. Let's Just go, man. You. Good job. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, you, that was intense. That was a. I prefer doing it from your side. <laughs> ah, that was intense. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheresville, but okay. it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. What? Slightly less if I put my foot down. Okay, that's long. We'll do our best. You better floor it. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. <sighs> anyway, once I'm in, oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. I'm ready. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Okay. Try not to crash. Take care. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Oh my gosh! Actually, a shocking Folks, event. Heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show. Meanwhile, if you have anything on your mind or have any information about this whistling man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here. On 189.16, The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Yes! Should I introduce the song? Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. Calm this down. Is actually insane. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? Let me turn on the music. He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and... killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... did. Okay, what happened to him? Um, and he comes back uh, tonight, so we're screwed. Okay, what happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. Hmm. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time. Waiting to take revenge on the town. All right. So what? What, the do, what, 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 what did we What's do? What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Uh, we'll do our best and uh, guess we'll find out. So we're screwed. We'll do our best. All right. We'll do our best. Copycat or ghost killer. We'll do our I, best. I guess we'll do our it's best. all that we can That's do. the spirit. <sighs> Let's go, Peggy. At least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight, could be around 35. 35? 35. Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people at best. Okay, 35 at best. Uh, are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? Ah, <laughs> dang, dude. Uh, are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 
35, yeah. It's a school night. <sighs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh, wow. How many did you get before? Dude, this is a small you know, town. Before Holy jeez. exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people. What happened to yeah. your career? Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Oh. Million? Sheesh. Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Oh, oh, oh. Take it when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Can we turn that off? Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.6. Uh, here we go. Scream. Is everything uh, all right? Oh! This must be the whistling man. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? This is when you hang up, Forrest. This is when you hang up, buddy. Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? <laughs> My God, this dude, he doesn't even know how to whistle. You don't have to do this. Do you uh, accept requests? Wait, wait, what, what, what? Do I accept? Does he accept request? Hmm. Uh, you don't have to do this. I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna joke around with him. Try to, you know, take away the power because he's trying to scare our 35 listeners. Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. <sighs> Maybe <laughs> you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us? I, I mean, me. Wait. Want, cheese dusted pretzels. This is a prank I mean, call. I want cheese dusted pretzels. I can actually hear people in the background. I'll cut your... Goddamn kids. <laughs> I'm cutting them off. Uh, yeah, cut them off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, <laughs> Stupid. We also want a mega goal. <laughs> For anyone I can't get I can't. We do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway. This next uh, one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Okay. Mm. Boom. Play. Let's introduce it. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. The Glam Jam. Dude, this is pretty cool, man. I'm really liking this. Kid pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town. We turn it down real quick. It's a thing. Dude, I'm liking a this thing? game so far, oh, actually. Kids this here. is pretty cool. They pull pranks pretending to be him. Okay. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Oh, God. All right. Let's do this. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, this is just a scream one. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen. Scream. With me, yeah. Nash. What? I, I dialed nine. Oh, what? she's, dude. Okay. I the sheriff right away. Yeah. Ah, well, okay. I'm filling in for 911 tonight. Yep. What's your name and what's your trouble? And my name. Sharp, okay, Sandra. The cops now. Okay. All right. Um, the carts aren't coming. You know what? I'm not going to tell the sheriff's dead. Okay. I'm just going to be like, hey, the cops aren't coming. Okay. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town. 
down for jazz run and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man oh, is after me. okay knife all right in hand. Oh, knife in hand it's actually happening Okay, um, where are you now? A jazz run? Um, bad night to go out on for a run, huh? Um, where, where are you now? now? Where? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Just be calm I here. I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere oh, along the way. Oh, my God. I Sandra, you're stupid. No hide, but I can't get moving. Okay, can you go back and find your keys? Sounds like you lost them. I think you'll be fine. Uh, is there anything, uh... Anywhere else you can go. Hmm. I would tell her to go back and find her keys, but that's going to like that. That's that's really going to leave her open, man. And everything. I'm going to ask her if there's anywhere else that you can hide or go. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, well, I'm not going back out there. I. There he is. Don't know how to Wait, jump no, a car. No, uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatpants. I'll call you back when I find it. Okay, 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 okay. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Uh, Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mm -mm. mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while to... the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Let's see this one. I, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's David Scope. What the heck? With oh. Moonlight. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. Mm. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Wait, I'm getting up? What the? Oh, I can actually... What am I going to find? Uh... Yeah. Okay. All right, so offices are out the door. Um, somewhere. Oh my god! All right, let's go. Come on. Hello? Oh. Okay. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, now I'm, I'm in the offices. I'm supposed to, like, collect something? Lock. I don't know. For now. Lock for now. What's this? Scream. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? This looks useful. Oh, fix all cars. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got what we needed. What is it? Place items in uh the the tray to hold them. Okay. What tray? What tray? Oh, this is the tray right here. Okay. Um, I think I'm ready. You find anything? Yep. Yeah. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Uh, well, that sounds gosh. perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's shut this music off. Okay, Forrest, shut the music Okay, off. I will. Thank you. Jeez. All right, cool. All right. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wait. Uh, Let's go. Let's talk to her. We're back with 189.16. Please don't make a freaking bad screen. decision, Drew. Please don't How make a bad up, decision. The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. Okay. Okay, turn it. Can I can I turn it around? Oh, 
Oh, I did turn it. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay. Uh, put the screwdriver in there. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold up, hold up. Use screwdriver as a key if that uh fails. Okay. So unscrew the the steering wheel. No, hit the steering wheel with the hammer. Okay. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's step one, right? That's step one. Okay, let's go. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Oh. Screwdriver's too fat to fit. Okay, it's okay. What next? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Step two. Remove the steering wheel column um, cover. Okay? Unscrew the steering wheel. Unscrew the steering column. Jazz time, jazz time, jazz, time. jazz fingers, jazz fingers, jazz fingers, come on. Good, good. Good. It's okay, it's okay. Stay calm. Step three, check the ster serial number, then strip the twist, the following wires together. If there is a what before a three and no seven, if the number is red and blue, I'm gonna kill this woman. I'm, I'm I, this woman's gonna die. Okay, she needs to tell me exactly what she sees. Okay, here we go. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. Okay, she said, she said, okay, what's the serial number on the, okay, sure, the, okay, then strip and twist the following wires together, okay, blue and red and blue, green and brown, red and yellow, okay, okay, so strip blue and red wires and twist them together, wait, yes, okay, Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Okay, here we go. Blue and red and twist and turn and... Oh! Oh! Oh, it won't turn off! Oh, don't do this to me, Jazz Radio. Creeping wires going into the stereo. What do we do? Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, cut the middle wire. Okay, what should she do? Um, if the wire turns on and won't turn off, cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. The left one. Cut the left wire. Okay. I need I need to calm down. I need to chill. I need to calm down. Calm down, okay? Okay, whatever, I'll, I'll do this. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Okay, 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 okay. All right, cool, okay? So, all right, Effie, we messed up on that one, great, okay? We got two more, we got 50-50 chance right here. Okay, let's not mess this up. If there is a four before a three and no seven. No, no, excuse me. If there is a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five. Okay, if there is zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. A zero at the end and the three doesn't come before six. Wait, the three does come. No, the, the three comes after the six. It's red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Okay, okay, good. 
Good, Sandra. You're doing great, okay? Step four. Now strip the purple wire, okay? Strip the purple wire and twist onto... No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Now strip the purple wire, okay? Do not touch this live wire. Step five. Brush the wire, purple wire against the twisted wires from step three okay all right so what are my chance my my uh questions here strip the purple wire and twist onto the exposed wire we're not supposed to touch those strip the pink wire and plug it into the ignition no strip the purple wire and brush it against the twisted wires yes right okay strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires okay okay Let's go! Oh my god, we're out of there, baby! Work, baby! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! We did it. Just keep driving. I'm glad you're safe, but lay off the jazz. Oh no, no. We did it. I just can't believe it. Oh. We did it. Nice work, Forrest. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. You bet I am, baby! Dude, I need to calm down. I, I, I freak out. I'm, I'm sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. All right. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed. That was that was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. That was very. Uh, I still can't believe this is happening. Yeah. <sighs> right. My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Uh, really? Let's put miserable? that right here. Okay. I'm gonna put that right here. Uh, I'm gonna put that right here too. Uh, it's nothing personal. Uh, it's just a sad place. Peggy, be honest. Peggy, be honest. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making whoa, things interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I didn't... People are polite and, uh... Stab happy? Friendly, usually, if you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Uh, you know what? Some folks have been uh, okay. You don't notice the stink from after a while. You know what? I guess some folks have been okay. Yeah. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. Forrest you know Nash. I, mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. <laughs> anyway, I, think you're swell. I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Okay. And we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. 1242. Oh my gosh, that was only 42 minutes? Oh, dude, we're done. Caller on line one. Oh, okay. Stop the music. Here we go. All right, let's let's get in the game. Let's get in the game. Ready? Ah, <sighs> let's go. Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash. That's right. Host of Woody the Dude. Point sixteen, the Scream, and tonight's nine one one stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Okay. Hello, Brian. Um, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian's Ponty of Pizza. Yeah. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's right. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And Thank you. As a thanks for Appreciate all you did there, I just wanted to tell you I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. Hey. That's really good of you. Free pizza? You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. 
And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Okay. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no. Poor choice of words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I feel like he's like advertising himself right now. I mean, if he really wanted to like treat us, he'll just make a pizza for us right now and get it delivered over here. I feel like he's really advertising himself. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, that didn't come out great. That was pretty tasteless, I had to say. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Pony's Pizza. You see what I'm saying? We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Yep. Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice yep. to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Exactly. Oh, Peggy, hang up on him. Exactly. Yep. Done. Oh, real quick. Before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. I paid now, ad. a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Heck no, I don't. Uh, do I know? Nope. Nope. In flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. Okay, where though? Let me grab that. And I put it where in here? Uh... I, I would think the cassette player is on the desk in front of you. Yeah. Just above the sound blaster. Just above There should be a right cassette here? in the dock nearby. Sound blaster. Oh no, right here. Okay, yeah, but where do I where do I where do I put it in there? Oh. Oh. Okay, don't judge me, okay? I know how these things work. Done. Hey, hey, hey. Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab it out of the beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. We're out of beer. What am I going to do? <laughs> the party is going to be over. <laughs> Fear not. The grilling spray will give you a free six pack of beer if Gala's High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal bill from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gala's High wins. A free six pack? Righteous! You heard me. Six beers if Gala's High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> beers! Me too, Billy. Me too. Come on down to Grilling Spray. I'll call up 555 749 8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest, do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? What? Uh, I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Mm -hmm. Spare ribs. Oh, oh my God. Spare ribs. What's up hey, all these dad back. jokes tonight? We got a caller. Okay. You know what to do. <sighs> Get your head in the game. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Welcome to the scream. Yep. With me. Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice oh, geez, Russell, here we go. the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Okay. Um... Leslie left me in charge. Uh, you haven't heard from me? Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Yeah. Just, just put me on with Sheriff Matthew. Mm. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the report? Well, I, I, I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Aren't you, like, in trouble? We're live on air. Just tell me what's, uh, what's happening. Never mind that. Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. I guess, yeah. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. 
but I was there. I covered it. Okay. I don't think it's a teen. And now he's back? Mmm. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Okay. You can watch them on any TV set here. Set in the boardroom. Okay, okay. Can you get out of there? Think you can take the what the f no 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 we are not taking the freaking whistling man, okay? We are not taking him. I have no idea what this dude is capable of, and I don't think he's capable of that, okay? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. Hmm. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. Okay. So the stairs are the only way. It would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. Yeah. But what? All we can do from here is. Yeah. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, oh, right? Oh. In different rooms with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Okay. And buy Maurice time and get an excuse to interview with the killer. And buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. Yeah. I can hear you, you know. Shut up, Mar. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. We're so listen. Maurice, Peggy and we're I trying. trying to figure out Trying to get you out of there. Jesus how Christ. Stupid that plan sounds, right? It doesn't sound stupid. For that to be successful, you're going to need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Oh. Did you just fax something to me? You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? Nah. Mr. Russell. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax. I knew machine. it. Got it. Don't let me down. Got it. Wait. More to do? There's still more to do here? Wait, what? Oh. Oh, uh, da 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 da. Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. I know where fax it is. Fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Fax machine. Uh, okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Oh, we're here. This must be it. Okay, 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 okay. Um, What else did he say I needed? Uh, Collect the... Okay, yeah, I think that's it. I think now we'll be able to uh, actually help him out. Okay, so editor, what does that say? Was it source archives? Something like that? I don't know. Archives, kitchen, office. Okay, we want him. We want to get him as far as possible uh, from him. So I'm thinking about getting him over here to the editors um place okay hey did you get the fax uh yes yes i have mr russell you uh you still with us i am mm. you get my fax yep yep i did yeah i got it right here good i knew you could at least manage that okay folks we're back on the line with maurice Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling. What are you man. doing, Force? This is the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall, okay. leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Okay. 
It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. All right, all right. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. Yeah. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Okay, so, uh, he needs to get over to the stairs, right? The stairs are right here. I need to get the freaking dude away from there as, as far as possible. So, let's go to extension three, which is the editor's room, editor's office. Yeah, let's do that. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? You need to go. <clears throat> Should I just tell him to break for it? You know what I mean? Should I just tell him, hey, just, just, just fucking go. We're going to go kitchen. We're going to go kitchen. We're going to go kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Yep. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Okay. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? You don't. You don't. Make the call. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Call Come it. on. Now. Oh, whoa. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Okay. 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 Good job. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Yep. Uh, don't mention it. Good job, Peggy. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Mm. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Make it okay? Why do they? I'm sure he'll be fine. They need to stay on the and line. We do. I hate that. We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh, call incoming. You ready? What? Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Okay. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Okay. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Okay. Um, can you fight him? I don't want him to fight him, okay? Maybe play dead. What? Can you lock him in a room? Mmm. That sounds interesting i don't want this man to get in a physical altercation with this guy okay so i'm gonna say can we lock him in a room could you lock him in a room that'd probably buy you time enough right maybe but the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside from the inside He'd be able to get out just as soon as wait 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 no 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 i got it okay the secret where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Now that's the time, Peggy. You, uh... Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. Oh. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. Mm -hmm. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Okay. Only the outside. Okay. You can't break out. If we can get him in there and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my God. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, mm. not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're going to need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Okay. Um, is there a TV in there? Use your... Use your... I don't understand this. Uh, use a radio. I think we should use a radio. The, the radio would make a little bit more noise. I'm not quite sure if a TV will make as much noise. You know what I mean? Let's go radio. Let's, let's do radio. 
Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? Yeah. I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. Okay. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Hmm. Is it still in the office? I'll be as a... Da -da -da. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. Should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted. Okay, with his search. so he's gonna be in the archives now. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Okay, so we're gonna save him for us. Yeah, I Look, hope if this works. We might even save the whole town. Yeah, I, I hope. I hope. Uh, let's make it happen. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got... No, 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 no. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Ah! Uh, the radio works. Okay, shh. If calm I'm down. Alive, Stop yelling. Hopkins might just what are you get doing? That day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Okay. Whoever Hopkins is. Wait. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait, we're the radio. Yeah, exactly. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Exactly. Yeah. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. I know that's your station number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? Uh, that's correct. <laughs> the best and only. Hit the uh, stinger, pe Peggy. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, one eighty nine point sixteen. The scream. Gallows Creek's best and only phone in talk show. With me, Force Nash. And me, Peggy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've got the radio on silent. Okay. But I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Okay, so... He, okay, so... he No, we're not going to go to the archives right now, okay? He is in the archives. We're probably going to have to send the killer to the boardroom right now so our guy can get to his office they're going to be right next to each other let's go kitchen um put that right there okay kitchen call kitchen call the kitchen the extension is zero two that could work the kitchen is far away from the editor's office but the killer searched it before are you sure no nah, we're making the call i'm sure I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the kitchen come now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Okay. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer I in? hope he doesn't call back, bro. I hope he doesn't call back and be like, ah! Um, I'll give him, I'll give a uh, fake advice on um, person a uh, Russell. I'll call the, the killer a jackass. Um, who's Mr. Russell? I'll give him fake advice. I'll pretend to tell Maurice to hide in the secret archive. The killer will hear me. Go check it out. And we've got it. Oh, I like that. Make the killer think he has the upper hand, and then BAM! 
I appreciate the vote of confidence. Oh, oh call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. I set the radio in the... Oh. He'd already searched. Son of a... Fuck! Forrest, he's... He's... No! He's dead! Dead. Uh, uh, let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. No! <sighs> Folks, <sighs> we'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call. Dang, dude. Dang. That's crazy. That's crazy. We lost a good one. We lost a good one. All right, let's put on some music. Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling this. Uh, put that. Play right a there. record for us. I, I will. I will. I will. Okay. Jeez. Gee. Can't save them all, right? Can't save them all. That's uh, just. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? Oh, you're that not sucks. so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Okay. Oh, uh, what do you want to know? I regret this, but okay. Maybe I uh, like being a mystery. All right. Shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Eh, uh, yeah. No, that's too specific. Too specific? What is I, what is Peggy trying to do? Hey. Do you have any siblings? Oh, I she's don't. asking like actual like child, questions. And my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. Uh, that's how it goes. You're sorry. Why? Did you do it? Don't be sorry. I'm not. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Hmm. Oh, what happened there? Oh. Huh. What a coincidence. Hmm. Should I ask her what happened? That's kind of insensitive, right? Or something like that. She didn't ask me what happened with my parents. So I feel like, uh, I, I, I feel like, uh, uh, oh, would be okay. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. Oh, okay. See, she explained. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Ah, uh, that's that sad. That was dad. That's sad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Peggy Weaver? Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Hmm. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No, not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Mm. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? The door buzzer? Maybe. You sure you don't want to go? <laughs> no way. Force. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Uh, gee, thanks, Peggy. <laughs> gee, thanks, Peggy. Yeah, where is it? The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Wait, do I have the keys? Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Ah, she's okay, 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 okay. Um Alright, let's go. Okay, key to the second floor, stairwell. Alright, let's go. Where is the Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. That was nice. 
Okay. Oops, sorry, my bad. Okay. A tape. Play, Play me. On air. Okay. We got a tape. Nice. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Okay. Turn that off. Cool. Uh, I'm going to place that right there. And I'm going to eject that. Put that thing right here. Okay. Let's play it. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. What? I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? That was our voices. I. Oh. Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Oh, 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 be careful. That uh, uh, <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. There's no way the killer got from the newspaper to here so quick. I know. That's kind of, mm, that's kind of, that's kind of sussy. Uh, 104 a.m. Hmm. How long are we going to like do this for? Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. <laughs> we'll I need you for a second. All right, this. folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Okay. Um. So what's up? Oh, 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 I need to play a song. Uh, let's play this one. Boom. Okay. Nah, I'm right, not Peggy, gonna. what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go oh. play it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I got it. Play me ASAP off air. Okay, so how do I play you off air? Um, F it. My God, are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you all right? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. <laughs> If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher. That right there. Uh, doo -doo -doo. we're old friends. Um, I used to be a big deal. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my God. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> they mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Oh my God. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well... If that fiasco last Friday about the missing That's knife it. and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay. All right. All right. Let me turn this up. Uh, 
Let me stop. 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 Let me get out of here. Come on. Um, what am I looking for? What is this? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, reception, right? All right. What the hell is this? Right there. there. Mm, should be down here somewhere, right? This must be. Aha! It. My tiny selection grows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Okay, let's put that right there. Final breath. Okay, final breath. Boom. Play. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not digging this one more than the other one. You know. Okay. Okay, I, I kind of get into the feel like, like, like a boy and girl or somebody that's just in love. They meet each other. They first glance in the hallway. They brush against each other. You know what I mean? You know, one person like drops their books and stuff like that. You know? Dude picks it up for the girl and everything. And then they look at each other. The hard pause. And then it's like fireworks and like explosions going off. You know what I mean? That's, that's the feel I'm getting. And then like, boom. Memories continue on. They're hanging out, walking in the park together, skipping rocks and everything, getting ice cream, first kiss, you know what I mean? Prom and all that stuff. That's all, that's what That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting right now off this, you know? Whole ass story. I, 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 that's all, that's what, that's what I'm getting. Okay. All right, let me let me let me turn this down. Let me turn this down. Hey, did you get it? Yep, got it. Let's get this on the air. What? Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. It's on the air already. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Yeah. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Sorry. Right. Wow. God. Roddy's the best. Okay. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe for the worst of Gina Frank. What just happened? And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, <laughs> whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. I can oh, just play shoot. it on loop later. I just noticed later. we have a caller waiting. Oh, 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 I really oh, oh, hope oh. it's nothing serious. Dude, it's going to be serious, bro. It's going to be freaking serious. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. The and Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy. <laughs> Who the Hello, heck is Murphy? Murphy. Uh, Murphy. What do you for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First. Happy birthday to my son, Fernando. <laughs> He's free today. Fernando. Being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, and most importantly, how to love. How to uh, live. Happy birthday, Fernando. Oh, uh, happy birthday, Fernando. Weird night to celebrate. I mean, uh, yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. <laughs> you think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife. You think you're tough, huh? Come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, uh, this is a bad idea. Oh, boy, here we go. Are you going to uh, kick his ass, Murphy? Um, I think this is a bad idea, Murphy. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. Oh my Get God! Ready. Whistling man, you just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh no! Jeez. <sighs> and there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Why? Anyway, Why, Murphy? You're we'll gonna get right stabbed up, man. You don't know what you're messing with, Murphy. He's gonna be calling back. Oh my god. 
I need help. I need... Uh, please, save me. That was clean. Oh, uh, commercial, right? He said commercial? Um, let's do this one. Time to play a commercial. I'm already on it, Peggy. Okay. Christian and a proud patriot. Okay. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbor. I didn't know this like was going to be political. Too, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Ooh. Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Yeah. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. Wow. God, what a jackass. 100% <laughs> grade A asshole. And we Melinda this. Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do Jeez. we? Jeez. No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, Oof. though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? <laughs> oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Oh. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Okay. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. Every that vote. ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. Oh, shit. You know oh, bad. We got a caller already. Got a. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me. On the stream. Dash. Uh, hello? Hello? Who is this? Doesn't sound. It does not sound like the whisper or whistler uh are you okay do you need help are you okay do you need help forrest he called me that horrible whistling down the phone he's coming for me jesus who is this listen caller don't panic we've done this a few times now we can help you a few times already so you saved them or Sure. Sure. Okay. We gotta keep her. We gotta. Okay. Hey, this. Gonna help you. Maybe a white lie, but hey, name, whatever, color? right? I'm Doctor Sullivan, uh, Virginia. Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. If you're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm. I'm. Oh God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Call a neighbor. Can you hide? I'm going to say, can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Okay. 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 Don't run away real quick. Could you call? Mm, could you call a neighbor? Could, you know, possibly. Okay. Uh, could you run away? Ah, uh, I, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to say, could you? I don't know what will calling a neighbor really do. You know what I mean? Yo, she's already on the phone with me. She's going to have to hang up and call the neighbor. I'm going to say, could you run away? Yeah. Can you run out back? No. What if he's outside waiting for me? Oh, God. Call a Is neighbor. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. It's a no for everything. Just, just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Okay. Yes. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? 
If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout! If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Mm. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Oh, uh, don't worry. Try to remember. Don't be a child. Try to remember. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. What the f- Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snack. Why did she hang up? We're trying to help her. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Chalupa Cabras? Ooh. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. Ponte's Pizza. It, Let's get calling. That's it? All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. I That's not going to work. Takeout client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Okay, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate this sound. Better get to it. Well, let's not waste any time then. Listen. That's the spirit. Got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. Okay. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. All right, bet. Thanks, Peggy. Okay, wait a second, man. God, where to start? So. Make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy. Bruh, pizza. We have a food critic, right? Pizza. Chad or Brad or. Uh... What are you talking about? I just have to look around. Okay, so you should check the offices. Okay, find clues on where the frat party have uh, might have ordered. Okay. I would have... Oh! Through Ponte's Pizza, baby. Ooh. Yep. Interesting offer. One free beer. Of course. Here, let's go take this upstairs. Hey, find anything useful? Yeah, I found it. Yes, I'm ready. I'll wing it. Look again. What am I looking for? I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Yes. Let's make the call. Time to turn the music off. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? Uh, call Ponte's Pizza. Call Ponte's Pizza. You got it. Come on. Ponte's Pizza is on the line. Come on. Ponte's Pizza, may I take your order? Uh, hey, dude. Wait. Frat man calling. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? This dude sounds like Shrek. Slow roast pizza. Oh, man. I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice. <laughs> but that will take three hours. What? Oh, uh, no. Never mind. Never mind. Just give me the garlic bread. Can do. So where do you want that delivered? Uh, Jeez. Same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And yeah, we'll have that over to you right away. Bruh. Oh, and, and one more thing. Slow Can roast you pizza? Note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza. You, know? <laughs> you should really go yeah, right. and let them know. <laughs> Did you hang and up? And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery worker. Oh, then we get it. We get a new song here. All right. Ooh, let's do it. Well, no, I wanted to listen to the song, man. 
Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Ponte's Pizza. You mean equally good? Yeah, not Ponte. Damn. He's not Ponte. Right. Ponte. So what does Ponte mean? Spree and Chalupa covers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Pull up that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, stop music. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fredman Booker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. Goose? No, this is Forrest. This is an emergency. Sure, this is Goose. Uh, nah, this is, this is Forrest. No, this is Forrest Nash, host of... Uh, uh, sure thing, Goose. Listen, I need you to Goose, come get beer. Oh Brothers my god, these dudes you. are drunk. I'm not Goose. I uh, how can I prove this to you? I don't know. Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Ah, oh, these dudes are drunk. Over the barbarian. What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control. Okay. So, play us the flow. The Wait, flow? Really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian the flow, the flow, the flow. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. The flow. Right here. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Let me, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Okay. The flow. Are we good? Oh shit! Okay, okay, radio man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you gotta get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just say no more. Plunker's moving the house. <laughs> Plunker's moving the house. Forrest, line yeah. two. Oh, line two, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, the stream. Forrest. Let's go! Security has arrived! Oh, thank God. He's good. And... Oh. oh, is that you, Rachel? Yes, sir! Plunker! No Coming in clutch! Here. Times are here. I could use a drink. Now just party it up with Virginia. Woo! That was, that was pretty cool. Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. That's right. That's right. Dude, that was sick. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all Clive. About? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you Ooh. know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. Mm. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hey, yo. Hold on. I'm going to take my time. Let's turn this up. Jody! What up, my dude? How you doing? Um, Rosa, hello. Steph, I forgot to say hello to you, too. Shut up, Peggy. I'm talking to my chat. Um, Clive got the keys. I bet. Clive got the keys. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are doing good in chat, man. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to the bathroom, okay? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You guys enjoy some of this music real quick, okay? I'll be right back. The line's let up. I need to take the call.
holler waiting for us. Hit the button. We have a collar. I have a collar waiting. Call waiting. Better take it. They might need our help. It's so cold in here, man. It's so cold. No sleep. What? It's 9 a.m. for uh, for me. It's actually, damn, bro. Did you you didn't go to sleep? Call her on line one. Okay. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. Let's turn it off. All right, turn off music. Caller on. Hello, on caller. One. You're live on the Hello. screen. Hello. Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, I, I, I find I, this all horrifying. Small business owner? The streets of our fair town. Ooh, terrible. <sighs> terrible. Oh, it's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Um, oh, what's this uh, small business you do? You sure are up late. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh! I sure do. You know, we're at it all day, every day. And that includes major holidays we've got coming up, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So, it's my life. Uh, what business? Uh, what is your business anyway? Uh, you must really, really love your work. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business really is my whole world sigh what's your small business oh well i'm not really big on promotion but uh, since you ask it's party's pizza the best and only pizza place oh time. my god this on, guy guys. man have a crack and deal on our two for one god damn it party no no free ads <laughs> I can't stand this dude. I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just. Uh, <laughs> I can be mad. Look, he's gone at now. This dude, we right? already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath okay. and let's keep going. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, Art Collar. <laughs> Eugene. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And Eugene Stein. I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Aw. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. For her. We got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. The love I labyrinth. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, 
Do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Oh, uh, go home to your parents. Do you really need to ask? Stay and wait. Ooh, I, I really don't want him to stay and wait. You know what I mean? It's 1 a.m., you know? Ah, uh, staying in the middle of a cornfield and all that good stuff. I think you should go home and go home to your parents, man. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh, Sorry, my bad, oh, brother. Jeez. Yeah. Everyone's freaking parents are dead. Good God. Can. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly, I'm in the middle. Molly. Wait! It'll take a little while to get here. What? But, uh, thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Oh. oh. Wait a second. Molly can't whistle. No, no! This is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst. Uh, Molly? You... Molly? Molly, you wanna... You wanna explain yourself? Huh? I didn't know you had a thing with... Eugene, <laughs> Molly, <laughs> Molly and Chad over here, man. TikTok, dude. I'm like, yeah, man. holy shit, Molly. Uh, Molly, Molly, wait a second, Molly. Did you just leave this man hanging in the cornfield? Are you serious? With a whole killer on the loose? That's crazy, Molly. That's crazy, Dish. How you gonna do Eugene like that? And now Eugene, now Eugene's about to die. That's crazy. Molly trying to kill Eugene. That's what I'm saying. Molly set Eugene up. Molly was like, on second thought, I'm gonna freak it. I'm not gonna show up. You know? Dang, you did my man dirty. Hey, he loved you too, bro. He loved you. He freaking loved you, Molly. Dang. Dang, Molly. Dang. <laughs> Molly's ruthless. <laughs> Molly has been going through it in this chat today, dude. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Uh, We'll get you through. Uh, we'll get you out of this. Do you know the way out? Just run through the walls. Do not run through the walls. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. We'll get you out of Harm! it. I'm about to die a virgin! Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. Do it for Molly. Okay. Please, hurry. Do it for Molly, dude. If you get out well, of this, Molly this will probably, well, Peggy you know, and I hey. Deliberate. Here's a track for all you lovers out there. Molly. Molly, Molly, Molly. You're going to let the man die a virgin? That's crazy. That's crazy, Molly. All right. Get rid of this. I almost made that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's pick this one. Go. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. I know. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Oh, uh, why'd she change her mind? Is it a maze for kids? Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Brad. Does everyone have dates in the maze? Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Peggy. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do. Not Molly. Maybe we should she doesn't like it. If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. I know where. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Yeah. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh... Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never okay. does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Brad. Ring any bells? Right. Yeah. Sorry. I guess it's just the stress of. No excuses. Just go and find something oh. to help us. Is that gum? Is that gum on? Uh. 
Okay, I know exactly where that is. Exactly. All right, let me turn this down. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Okay. Oh. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Yep, my bad, my Welcome bad. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I... Facing a tractor statue. You had a crossroad? There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay, 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 okay. No problem. You're at a tractor facing right, right? No, you're at a tractor and the hay bales are on your right. So where are you? Okay, so you're at a tractor. Okay, so you're facing... If we bring this right over here, right? Okay. He is right here. He is facing this right here. Right? So he's facing this way. He's facing that way. Because on his right, this is his right, right? Is the hay bells. On his left is this this way so if i tell him to go left he can go through here he might find four or three right hopefully he finds three i tell him to go backwards into oh shit how am i going to navigate this kid through here let's go backwards go backwards Did that man have a chainsaw? I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Okay, so there's a pitchfork. Uh, okay, so he's at a crossroads. That's good. That's real good. Okay, there's a pitchfork. He said it's up ahead. Good, 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 good. Hold, hold on, hold on. Okay. So. All right, so he's at a crossroads. He's probably right here, okay? And he said there's a pitchfork up ahead. So that means he has to go left, right? Go left. Go left. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on, bud. I know. I know. Molly. I know. Molly didn't love you, man. Okay. In front of me, and a scarecrow behind me. Okay, there's a tiny barn. Nothing to, my sides. Nothing to your sides. Okay. So, tiny barn ahead of him, scarecrow behind him, and nothing on his sides. Okay. Go forward, right, or left. Okay. You said there's nothing on your sides. Scare tiny barn in front of him, scary um scarecrow behind him. Okay. Okay. Um No problem. Hold on. Okay. Uh. All right. So, tiny barn. Okay, a mini barn. Okay, he's at number eight. Right. Scarecrow behind him. Let's go right. Go right. Yes! I'm out. Oh. And my bike's still here. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Oh. I love you, Molly. That was tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. Oh, my God. I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you oh. think Molly missed their date? 
Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. See what I'm saying? I kind of knew it. Kind of knew it, dude. Kind of knew it. Yo, we save Eugene. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to Let's add go. the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Report a Clive Next to stay is alive. Up Forrest, so take it away. <laughs> Dude. Oh my God, he's gonna get some mol mo molussy. Oh my God, Dude, Raya. <laughs> Molly got a real one though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. We got a call waiting. I'm just talking to chat. Jesus Christ, dude. Can't talk to chat. Oh my God, dude. That was intense, man. That was intense. That that was intense. All right, let's let's talk to these fools. Collar, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16. The scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh wait, thank you, thank you. Question mark. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know about wonderful, but uh, thanks. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune. Sure. Long ride home. Long That'll ride sound. home. Sure, we got it. Long... I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Long All right, folks. Ride home. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't, I don't think you're it. gonna find that song. Huh? What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I. I threw it out the window earlier today. Why? Peggy. Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Hmm, I don't, I don't so think that's he true. it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Hmm. All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Dawn. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Don't want to talk about it. Uh, of all the there, songs man. to request. Yeah, my bad. Why did it have to be my that fault, one? My fault. Gee, Peggy, what did <laughs> the barn finds <laughs> ever do to you? wrote that song for one it gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years mm. <gasps> why couldn't they just request Roddy? oh forrest scrap the song we have another caller okay 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 sorry to cut the music short folks callers take priority tonight welcome to 189.16 the scream the this scream <laughs> oh murphy forrest. murphy oh thank god it's me again Murphy. I know. What's wrong, man? Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me. I man. knew it. Uh, I, uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? Oh, my God. I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn piece of came to the gallows waste disposal plant. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. Why? I got a flashlight. But damn. Oh, oh, God damn. I smell smoke. Oh. I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now or I'm gonna die. Dang, bro. Get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. Come on, come on, Peggy. Come on, Peggy. Come on. What do you mean it's not operational? What? Why is there no backup vehicle? Oh, my God. What is happening? What is happening it's in this town? Oh, God damn it. 
force that evil son of a bitch slash the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. We only have one but I fire have engine? Friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. Jericho really is old. old. Okay. Okay. I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Okay, Jericho is old. We gotta remember that. Jericho, old, old. Oh my god. Okay. Uh what did you say? Again? Uh okay, first off, let's try to find the disposal. Okay. Do do Okay, right here. Great. Okay, Alex lives on the corner of uh I'll feel uh, Romero. Catherine lives on the yes Myers. Catherine uh, lives at the west end of a uh, Myers Lane. Okay, so she lives on the west end, like so over here somewhere. I think we gotta go with Catherine, dude. Catherine, Catherine is right over here. Alex is right here. This road is going to be closed. Yeah, she might be a little bit away from the place. But, like, she doesn't... This dude is going to probably have to go all the way around and all that stuff. Loop the loop the loop to get to him. Our old dude is freaking old as hell. He's the closest to it. But he's super old. We, uh, we don't even know if he's going to be able to freaking help him. So, let's do Catherine. Yeah, I think we're going to do Catherine. All right, Forrest, who should I call? All right, we're going to... Who can help Murphy? We're going to go Catherine, okay? We're going to go Ca Catherine. Call Catherine. All right, give me a second. Catherine, Catherine. <laughs> Come on. They're on the way. Thank you. They'll call from the plant. Okay. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Yeah, let's hope they get there in time, dude. Jesus Christ. Are they driving? Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Okay, cool. That's good. Hello, Catherine. Are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. I... Oh, God damn it. I'm going in. Oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Okay, see see anything, Murphy? Smell anything? Catherine recycling? Uh, waste disposal. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Waste disposal, right? Hold on. Murphy, can you see anything at all? Yeah, I got a little flashlight. Okay. Looks like old cans, bottles. That sounds like that sounds like recycling. What does it say on the newspaper? It's uh, the Henderson headline. What was that? My reception is terrible in here. Please, force, tell me where to go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure it's not waste disposal. There's bottles and newspapers. They usually recycle that type stuff, right? I'm going to say recycling. I think I, I'm going to say recycling. I think I'm going to say recycling. Yeah. Let's go recycling. Go to recycling. Recycling. Yes. Got it. Come on, Catherine. Bottles is like a dead giveaway. The plants mess up again. I can go shredding or crushing. Which way? Murphy, do you know what part of the plant you're in? I'm in a dumpster, man. Okay. What do you want from me? <laughs> shredding or... You see anything? Hear anything? Okay. I think we're going to send her to the crusher, okay? Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Crush. Catherine, go to the crusher. Okay, it's super loud. We're almost out of time. There are three dumpsters here. One for Gallows Creek Council. Henderson disposal. Henderson disposal. Okay. Oh, uh, what does it say on the newspaper? I'm going Henderson. I'm going Henderson. 
Henderson. Open the Henderson container. Oh my God. Oh my god, dude. Oh, man. You saved my life. Thank you. Thank you. This is crazy. And, and I swear to you. Wow. Now, I'm going to race Fernando to be like you. Dang, dude, chat. Good job. Getting my money back from Mr. <sighs> Robin. Hey. You just get home to your son, okay? Will do, Forrest. Wow, dude. Well, folks, Gallows Creek has two folk heroes tonight, Murphy and Catherine. Whew. I'm sure their won't soon be forgotten. That's crazy, Great dude. Job, Good job, chat. No time to celebrate, though. We got a caller. That was all you guys, yeah. man. I was all freaking right, folks, out. Another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. Teddy Gallows I Jr. I just want to say Wait. my thoughts and prayers are with my That's the Gallows politician, Jr. isn't it? During this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. Is he doing an ad? Cops who have oh the tools my God. and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We I know. You're an outsider to our little town here. Okay. But you're really Jesus stepping Chris. up the bat for us all tonight. Yeah, you're welcome. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. We need more Check police us. officers. We need more freaking tires for our fire department. All right, thanks, Teddy. Teddy, stop. Uh, you're a prick. All uh, right, thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife. This is not the time to promote your damn campaign. Damn, Beggy. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, okay, founded Theodore by his father, C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200. Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? <laughs> I do have a problem. Oh, well. A problem that's ruining our town. You know what it is? Oh, God. Uh, your family waste, uh, family's waste plant burned. The whistling man. Emergency, not my problem. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Damn. The whistling man. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to say the whistling man. No, I'm going to be savage. I didn't ask about a problem. I said emergency. The problem is that woman, our current man. Oh, my God. Linda Cartwright. Jesus Oh, Christ. here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Jeez. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little... Unstable too. That's why. Do that Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen. Anything that I goes against them, office. that that the means they're unstable. Decay. That's crazy. And that's enough of that's Teddy wild. Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just that's play good. an ad for us. I need a minute. Yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. For sure. For sure. Um, can I play this one? All right, let's do this one. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back. We got it all out on 
Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest okay. Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Roller Rickies. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearms, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten, sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. <laughs> Jesus, good. Oh, gee, I'm and back. What's up, Jesse? Puppets, <laughs> oh and zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance, and story swapping, spelling bee, cooking bee, and sewing circle, pie <laughs> lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest. Flower contest, and of course our famous <laughs> Lord Pleasure. This stupid ad. Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Mudd. Cut the whole music. Last Flower contest. <laughs> I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Clive Nash. To save lives. <laughs> Uh, hello, caller. She good? Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it! She's just a kid. Where are you? Can you run? Can you fight back? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god, oh my god! You stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this! Dude, calm what's down. Come Focus. on. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. Come on. What's your name? Come on. Carrie. Carrie. Good, good. Carrie? Listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. What? Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Why would you go into an old murder house? Wait, what the? F Dude, I don't have anything. Okay, go to the bedroom, go to a bathroom, go to go to a, the go to the closet. Uh, they usually they always check up. They always check the freaking closet. They always check the closet, man. They always check the bed bathroom. If I tell her to go to the bedroom, is she just gonna stand in there? Oh, she might die on this one, man. She might she might die on this one, dog. She might die on this one. Listen, I think I'm gonna go with my first choice. I'm gonna go bedroom. I think I'm gonna go bedroom. Let's go. Come on, go to the bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Okay. I'll come on, 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 come on. He's here. He's here. He's gonna kill me. He's not gonna kill me. I don't think we can. Don't move. Don't move. Was that?
cops? It's just a joke. Jeez. Wait, isn't that? I f Jim, I can't, that, man. Funny, you sicko! Oh Where's my god! Like some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? <sighs> my god. It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. Damn the it! Kid. The kid who called in earlier, pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. He's out there, Jimmy. Go home, Jimmy. Jimmy, everyone, it's really not safe to be out. Please, go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. <That sighs> whistling Dude. Night? It's a stupid tradition. I thought I, I thought I got it killed, man. One kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. Who, uh... Who are you? Oh, no, man! <laughs> oh, shit! Everyone, get inside! Oh, uh, run! Everyone, run! Get the f*** out, dude! You bought time, but not much. Forrest, we have to... Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old Shh. murder house and... Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Oh, Jimmy. Oh. Yeah, Jimmy got sliced up. I was like, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it's gonna be okay, Carrie. Okay. Sorry about Jimmy. Focus. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. We'll figure something out. Between yep. all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Okay. Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Jeannie. Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. We'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Uh, what, are they to what is she okay? talking about? No. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan, but everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Uh, we're gonna get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Oh my gosh. These damn kids never learn. Okay. Are you okay? They're just dumb kids. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> okay. Uh, did I put one on there already? Yeah, I did. I don't wanna. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Intern. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully mm. she has something we can use. Okay, so downstairs, right? Okay, let's go downstairs. Hold up. Let me turn this up. Peggy okay. said her desk is downstairs. Friendship quiz. This might work. What the hell was that noise? 
Okay, friendship Chris, most likely to peak uh, my Iris, Hot David, Kyle, Heather. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face, Cynthia, Scott, Chad, Tammy. Most likely to end up in prison, Seth, Jennifer, Lisa. Most likely to escape prison, Jennifer, uh, Scott, Cynthia, Seth. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete, Hot David, Heather, Seth, PTO. Wait, what? What? Oh, PTO turnover. Oh, part two. Most likely to pass their driving test without uh, any error errors. Uh, Jimmy five times. Most likely to win an Oscar. Lisa, Tammy, Scott. Jeez. Most likely to beat everyone at uh, go karting. Chad, Tammy, uh, Hot David, and Scott. Most likely to trip. While running in a horror movie, Heather, Scott, Jimmy, and Seth. Most likely to end up in a car crash, Tammy, Scott, Cynthia, and uh, whatchamacallit. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Hey, okay. you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one. Whenever you're ready. Okay, let's do it. When you're ready, shut the music off. Uh, boom. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Okay. Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Heather. Let's go with Heather. She has three different uh thingies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to go Heather here. Oops. Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather. He picked you. Now, please. Stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Okay, so. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Okay, so. Who want to do it? Seth, Jennifer, and Scott. Most likely to escape prison. Jennifer. 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 <sighs> Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Okay. Getting the van keys. Van keys. I'll volunteer for this. What? I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. Wait. Uh, I, I don't want you to get it. This plan is impressive. The plan is long. This plan is uh ambitious. Okay. Um, I didn't really want Carrie to do that. Um, the f is Carrie even good at? I don't even see Carrie on here. Jenny's and Carrie's friendship quiz. Okay. All right. This plan is impressive. This is a very detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. It's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Mm -hmm. Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. Okay. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Ah, uh, David. Cynthia. And Scott. Okay, so we need... Who should lure the killer by running away? The most athletic one, right? Most af most likely to become an Olympic athlete. It could be he uh, Hot David, and it could be Heather. I think we're gonna go with Hot David. Yeah, there. Let's do that. Hot David. Hot David. <laughs> yeah, you uh, <laughs> you spend a lot of time running shirtless. You got this, Hot David. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. Okay. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van yep. keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. 
the getaway. Ooh, the driver. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable? Oscar. Who you got? We got Lisa. Tammy. Tammy. Mm. And Cynthia. Okay, so Cynthia is out of the question. Most likely to win an Oscar is either going to be Lisa and Tammy. Yeah, we're going to go uh, Lisa here. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers. Hopefully. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Okay. Finally, part six. Part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Okay. Who's our getaway driver? Who is Should it be? Who have we got? Chad. Scott. 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 Cynthia. Oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. So we got Scott, Cynthia, and Chad. Okay. Chad most likely to beat everyone at go-karting. Chad is a no. Tammy is a no. Hot David is already doing something. Scott is the only one that has some type of driving ability. Okay, read number 10, most likely to end in a car crash. <gasps> Scott too. Oh, sheesh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, all right. Let's do it. Let's go Chad then. Chad's gonna have to do it, man. Chad's gonna have to do it. Chad. Let's do it, man. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go-karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. She said my go-karting experience. She said my go-karting experience. Good luck, Carrie. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. I hope so. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. Uh! What are we waiting for, man? I need to hear this. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. Watch, they're gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up the uh, freaking line, and they're all just gonna be screaming. Ah! Oh my god! It's over the head, so much blood! If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Basically, listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. <sighs> good luck. Good luck. And Godspeed. You got this. Come on. Here we go, everyone. Smarter. To the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go. Okay. Come on. Oh, dang. Come on, come on, come on. Everything's going a little smooth. <gasps> oh, Jimmy. Oh. Hey, Carrie. Oh, he's, his face is... The keys, Carrie. You need to get the van Come keys. on. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. He got God. Oh, God. Carrie, get it together. You. It's okay. He. His face got... Focus. Focus. Breathe. She was about to lose it. She was about to lose it. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. Good job, Jennifer. And hot David should be back any second. Come on. Perfect. It's working. I can't believe it's actually Come working. Come on. You're We're doing not great. done yet, Focus. though. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Come on. 
come on. Now, push the bookshelf over. Did you get him? Oh my god. He went through the floor. Let's go, freaking girls! Potter, you need to climb down now. We gotta go. Okay, come on, dude. Chad, dude, yes. do not crash, Chad. Do not crash. Everyone to the van. Oh my God, Chad. Driver, take the keys. Chad. Chad, please don't crash, bro. Take your time. Okay, gates are open. Chad. Huh? What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. Okay, okay, okay. You drive through. Carrie! What was that? It's a whistling man. Drive! Now! Okay, come on. What about Carrie? What about... Oh my god. Let me go. Just go. Just drive. Oh my god. Please, no. No. Carrie? <sighs> he just He just stared at me. What? Can you get somewhere safe? Oh my god, dude, she's alive. I can make it home. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie. And it was a great plan. Don't forget, Jenny. You get home. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Oh my gosh, dude. That was wild. Oh, oh that, was a, that was wild. That was a lot. Bro, I thought uh, I was about to hear a good of oh, my fucking care. Chad. Ah, oh, Chad. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song. For the girl walking home in the dark. Dude. That was wild, man. That was wild. Holy sheesh, dude. I thought she was she was gone. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. Hey, we had a call come in. What's up? Let me turn this off. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for my the rink. festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky, and I now consider Roller you Ricky. Man. Uh, thanks, friend. You talk a lot. No promotion. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Yeah. Back then, things were pretty rough. That's your actual name, my guy. What are you talking about? Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway. What's his uh, name, Clive? Bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk 
it's just how it was. That bottle took the best year of my life. Damn. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems, and sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have hey, fun again, is, man. cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. Dude, it's hey, it is, man. Just to hey, talk to somebody. clap that it up for Roller Ricky. Right Ricky. Oh. Clap it up, man. Aw, hello, Max. Let's go, Roller Ricky. Uh, welcome, Max. He's a good boy. We've gone, uh... Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. Hey, let's Max go. Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it should oh, be goodness. done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. Uh, you guys are a great pair. Neighbors must love them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Give back, huh? Man, all this talk of skating's got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, can I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxi. <laughs> you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Uh, let's uh put something else on here. Let's uh let's. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better put a record on. Okay. There you go. No introduction. I really needed that call, you know? After everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. <laughs> what are the odds? Better take it. All right, let's do it. Come on. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh, yeah, my bad. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. It's Carrie! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though we lost Jimmy and... I don't know. This man hey, Jimmy okay. deserved it. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did. It's very confusing. It is very confusing. Uh, he saw you as a victim. He wanted the pranksters. He got bored. Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to- These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. Good freaking Just job, Carrie. Thanks, you baby. did great. Hey, Forrest. Could I request a song? Oh my god. Of course, Carrie. Everyone's freaking What's requesting up? songs. Any song by Blast Processor. Blast and Processor. Huh? Thank you. Got it. This next one goes out to Carrie. Alright, we're good. Come on, talk to me. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. Hmm. About what? The whistling man left her alone. 
Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Okay. Let's turn this music off. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty. We could run another segment or... Scratch that, Forrest. We have a caller. Okay. You're through to 189.16. Yeah. The scream. Yeah. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Mm. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? Glad the girl I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Wait. Wait, what? Did... She didn't say that on air, did she? Did she say that? Maybe another song? But we but we don't have it. You must love it. You must really love that song. If you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have it. Well, I I do love it. And I don't wanna argue, but you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don. But we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take a second to grab it. Does it say let's try it tomorrow? Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. Huh. I think I know who's going to be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. <sighs> I don't believe. I don't believe, well, folks, Don. Here's some music for you while I think things over. I, nah, bro. I don't Is believe her. serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth... Oh, what, what? All right. Won't you... <laughs> won't you go? All right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do enough, it. Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Thanks, I appreciate it. Wait, Jesus wait. Christ. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh, you know, I never thought about it, but yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the board down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. <laughs> a caller. 189.16. 189.16. What is this? Oh, never mind. Slide that key. Let's go. All right. So we got the fire door key. Uh, great. I think that's downstairs. Or is that up here? Okay, never mind. I think that is downstairs, right? Um, I think he's over here. Okay, fire door. This? Right here? Excuse me? I can't get back in? Oh my god, you didn't prop it open. All right, no problem. No, no problem. I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Well, we can't get back in Out now, bro. In the open. Who's that? Who is that? Hello? Who was that? I'll take this. Here it is. Long ride home. 
Long ride home. Yeah. Of course. And now I'm going to explore out here. Because that's what I usually do. What the heck was that? What is this? Is that like a fuse? What the? Huh? I got two fuses. Am I supposed to use this for something? Oh. Hold up. Let's follow this cord real quick. Yep, right here. No, 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 no. Okay. Aha! Okay. Let's put that right here. Let's put that right here, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I need... To, uh, one more. One more, um... One more, uh, what do you call it? Um, fuse. I need one more fuse. Bam. And there it is. I'm going to just look down here anyway. Okay. There's more. There's way more. Oh my God. What was that noise? There's a blue one. There's a yellow one. I'm going to have to come back for those. I want everything over here. And I just found a red one, too. It's a blue one in there as well. Damn, there's so many. Why is this? Why is there so many? I think we just need all four green. 70. So, <clears throat> oh, my God. <laughs> My freaking boy, I need some. I need some tea, man. My voice is killing me. Uh, <laughs> I need to add uh, everything up to seventy. <laughs> uh, put this guy right here. Thirty plus thirty equals sixty. Sixty-five, seventy. Bingo. Let's go. Uh, what was that? Oh, oh, I could probably survive that fall. Yeah, 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 you did already, but okay. You did good. You did good. You did good. What's this? Nothing. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name Ooh, was? Oh, Clive. Clive. What? Clive? What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. What the heck? Don't do this. Don't do this. What is this? Calling for donations to help Chuck, uh, Chuck Brody. Former Gallows High School football captain Chuck Brody suffered a career-ending injury as a victim uh, of the festival disaster late last year. To help him on his uh, road to recovery, we are buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully, he gets lucky and can uh, get back on his feet. Pun not intended. Drop tickets in the bucket here. Lottery tickets? What? I see why this dude wants to kill you guys. You bought him lottery tickets, man. Lottery. Chuck Brody, Rebecca Allen, Kim, Ant. Clash of 69. Is it is your car safe? Da, 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 da. Wait, what? 24 hour gas station bought uh by local ex lottery winner. Hmm. 
Dang. Okay. All right. I see a key right here. Huh. There's a key. Okay, basement stairs I'll key. Just take that. Might be important. All right, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to get the poop out of here. Okay. Basement door key. And what is all this stuff over here? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Hello? I wonder how the show's going. Okay, I was about to say the music got to keep on going. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now oh. for Jesus Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I Shh. thought something had happened. Shut up, dude. Did happen. The Clive door the locked. What is this? Might be Clive, oh. the murderer. Who? What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind me. <laughs> 2.40 a.m. No way. It is 4.36 a.m. right you now. Why that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy <sighs> board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor, who you think is the creepy whistling man. Yep. And on the yep. creepy board are the names... Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's, Clive's, next target? That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there, too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Trailer Clive park. must think the target is at one of those Gas locations. station, trailer park, that's all I got. First, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Okay. Um, I need help. How's it going? Um, I can use some help. Uh, almost got it. Uh, it's not going well. Okay. I could use some help. <sighs> okay. Let's review the basics. Okay. We need to work out who the next target is. Yes. There's four locations, Four right? locations. And four people. Four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. Okay. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Uh... <laughs> um, yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Okay. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Brody. Da -da -da -da. So, yeah, let's pick uh, Brody real quick. Okay. Let's pick Brody. How's it going? Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you I'm sure? ready, Peggy. We've only got one shot at this. I guess, man. Let's do it. I'm sure. Let's do this. Brody. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Gas station. Wait. 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 Let me double check that. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Yup. Christine's gas and repair. Okay. Gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Oh! Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy. Oh! But we have reason to believe the whistling man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The whistling man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, the whistling man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It, it's today. It's today? The year I finally let myself forget. I... Today? Forget what? Forget? For, forget what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. Just run? I I think he ran off. That's cool. Well, 
Fingers crossed that Chuck. Jeez! It sounds like something blew up. What the? He's f using bombs now. I. I. Is Chuck? I mean, he, I don't know. He ran. Hang on, we're getting a call. Hello. Chuck. Chuck. Oh my gosh, Chuck. dude. The whole goddamn gas station's caught up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Holy sheesh. Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. I gotta go. That's right, man. Wait, I... Damn. We got him. Awesome. We saved him. What was that about today? That's right. Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Huh? Get us into some music while I deal with this. Huh? Here. Oh, sure. Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16. The Scream. The Scream. The Scream. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Oh, there's more to do in here. What the heck? That was a. There's gotta be more oh. in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me? me right? Me. Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned all the before. Freaking crawls. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Oh, it's through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So, hmm. a key. A key. Was this always here? Where? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Where the heck did you find? Oh, oh. It's in the wall. Basement storage. Okay. Where is the basement storage room? Oh, it was probably that door that I just tried. That was locked, right? All right, let's go back through here. Come on. This door. Yes. Okay. Hey, Forrest. Ja! Peggy, give me some warning. We're yelling down the intercom. Okay. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay. All right. All right. I will. I will. Oh, wait a second. Why does he have a map of the town here? Hmm. What is this? What is that? What is that? Hold up. What is this? I can't see. It's so dark. Huh. Looks like there's a, there's like some type of videotape recorder here or something like that. Uh, let's put that down. I'm going to take that. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. And a map. A map what? Oh, a map. Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Yeah. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Let's open up these real quick. Give it a play. Where? Where? Oh, right here. Uh, Let's uh eject. Put that right there. Play. Huh. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? Nah. He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. Follow the maps and follow the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Hmm. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. It's in here. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, so I need this. Oops. The heck? All right, so we got to find that little videotape in here. And I found the little videotape. Okay. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. Okay. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I need to hear that again. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Okay, time of autopsy, autopsy is 7 a.m. Is asphyxiation from drowning. Okay. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. Okay. That puts the time of death. Okay, what? It puts the time of death at like, what, 2 a.m. or something like that? 2 a.m.? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, hold up. Uh, let's uh, let's see what this is. Okay, so we need to find another videotape here. All right, let's try to find that. It's over here. It's this stuff. Um, let me do this. Okay, nothing's here. The heck is this? Oh, wait a second. This seems important. This seems really important. Well, we're not gonna do. We're not. We're not gonna mess with that right now. Um, actually, is that noise? I'm gonna put that down right there. And we're gonna put this right here. Keep that in my other hand, cause I want that. Okay. All right, let's go. What was that noise? Oh, right here. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. Okay. Typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet. As though the deceased had been running without stopping. Okay, so what did that give us? Aha. This looks useful. Ooh, what is this? Police department to da, 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 detailed report at 4 a.m. A call was received from a jogger. Uh, Miss Sandra Sharp reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove out to investigate and uh, was able to identify the body at the scene as that of George Barrow. I contacted the coroner's office and then the boy's parents. They informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. On the second. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's let's take note. This happened at 4 a.m. Okay. The call was received at 4 a.m. Cool. Da -da -da -da. The they were informed. They informed me that. Da -da -da. Okay. So the parents didn't see him since 7 p.m. on the second. So when was this? Time and date reported for whatever, 4 a.m., right? If we're thinking military time, 4 a.m. on uh, September 3rd. Okay. Okay. All right. That, this might, this might come in handy right here. This might come in handy. Hold up. Let me put this down too. I'm going to carry that with me. All right. What do we got here? Okay, so we gotta find that shelf, and there's something under there. All right, let's continue. Uh, let's put this down. I can probably find it. What is this? Thought I just saw something. Hello? Hello? Hey, yo, here we go. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However. A high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress okay. in the immediate moments before death. Okay, so this dude was, he was getting chased for sure, right? Okay, hold up. So where is that? It's next to a fan or some sorts, right? Okay. Yeah, nothing right there. It's right next to a fan. Let's go over here. Hmm. Aha. Okay. Hmm. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Oh. 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 A car door, huh? Okay. Go through here. Ooh. Yo, how big is this freaking facility? Okay, I can't do nothing with that. All right. Aha, I found something. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. 
I feel like I didn't search everything over here. Ah. Okay. It was the second clue. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I found it anyway. Right, let's go back over here. All right. Sick. Okay. So, we got to go to the desk. And it's probably in the drawer somewhere. Or no. It's right on top of the desk. Let's listen to this. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased. Resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. Dr. Solomon, we need to have a talk. Is that recorded? Shut it off. Yo, who was that? Hold up. It's another thing. This has thing. to be important. Yeah, this has to be important, okay? I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. Virginia? I've heard that before. Wait a second. Report of the investigation by a uh, county examiner, medical examiner. Uh, the deceased is a Caucasian male, age 18. The cause of death is established to be drowning as shown by the signs of a... a, 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 a I can't say it. Choking. Yeah, blah, blah. Okay. For the more details, abrasions were found on the knuckles, likely uh, from getting into fights in the past. Matches uh, with known history of the deceased being aggressive. No other injuries were observed. And from the coroner's opinion, there is no evidence of foul play. Okay. Additionally, the preliminary toxinology or whatever report indicates uh, the deceased had a high level of alcohol in their blood. Okay. Yeah. He was drunk and all that stuff. Yeah. We know. We know that. It was the coroner's opinion that uh, the deceased went swimming while in intoxicated, resulting in his drowning. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. I, I feel like I need to keep all of this stuff. Only got two hands, though. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this down as well. Okay. Mm, let's look at these drawers real quick before we take a listen. Ooh, I'll take that. A new vinyl for my collection. I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. What about this stuff? Uh, let's go over here. If you're listening to this, Clive. Then I'm probably dead. What the? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. I've got subscriptions to new. Papers all over the country. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to Gallows Creek. Drawing closer to the anniversary. I'm not whistling, man. Innocent, but I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst. And I can. I don't know. Do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's past mattering. Hmm. Now, there's more I could say. I should say, but my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough for you, listener, whoever the hell you are, to start putting the truth together. Okay. What the hell? So Clive didn't... Peggy is not going to believe this. Clive is not the killer. Clive is not the killer, so we have no idea who the killer is right now. Uh, this. Oh wait, wait, wait! Just talk to her. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. We already know who it is. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Mm. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What 
would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. Mm. It was okay, so he wasn't everything. drunk. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with the report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, mm -hmm. Virginia. That's this. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier. When we had to call the takeout restaurants. Wasn't her name Virginia? <gasps> We need to call her back once I we freaking finish do, I, I knew. Like she might know something about what's going on. I knew we talked to somebody in there. It introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. After he died? I suppose they can tell. How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body. I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found. Mm. But the report. What is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Sandra. The jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange about that? Wait a second. George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. Someone it's moved his body. Out. Someone I drowned this dude. And and but yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting then? That the body was originally found somewhere other yes. than what the report suggests. The body was found somewhere but else. They drowned him. Tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip. Something like that. Drove him to the okay. reservoir. Put well, him there. Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True, but Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner Dang. comes to the same conclusion so as I did. George was running from something. Yes, he Maybe definitely an was. Animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post death. Hmm. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. This This is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's oh. death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. Mm. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Tree. So they were just covering it he up. Said he wanted to do something the killer was. Him. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Wait, what? Ugh. Oh, Clive. Clive was. Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about oh. anything. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? Uh, I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. 
We need to figure out our next step. Mmm, this is wild. 3 a.m. Holy sheesh. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I want to keep this. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, <laughs> I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? Uh, beats me. It's our job. This is our job, Peggy. We, we got to do it. <sighs> we right. got to do so, it, Peggy. What's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. All right. I'll get her on the line. Okay. Time to turn the music off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hello right. again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Mm. Yeah, we got some questions to ask you, Virginia. Redman Plunker here. Who's this? Is it you? Goose. Goose. No, it's Forrest. It's Forrest. God dang it. Plunker. Hey, it's the Radio Man. Yes. Forrest Nash. Radio Man? Mm hmm. What's up? Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. Right, 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 right on. Plunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? She Ooh. asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistle in turd. Oh. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's big of you, Plunker. No, <laughs> it's nothing. Can I speak to Virginia? Sure thing, radio man. I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm, I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry. Virginia's still the jump. one that we helped out. We moved the party from the frat house over to Virginia's house because the whistling man was trying to get into Virginia's house. That's the person that we're talking to right now. Uh, don't be sorry. Uh, I'd be jumpy. We need to talk. Yeah, we need to talk. Sorry to hear that. But listen, hey, we need to talk. What about? We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening mm -hmm. today. Me? What would I know? Uh, any guesses? Ooh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, oh, should I say, should I say any guesses? Nah, I'm gonna be direct with her. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Clive and I wanna see how she's gonna react, okay? If she like stutters or anything, oh, I know she knows something. Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. Mm. I don't know that name. What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified you for it. You did. the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. That's right. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. Oh. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. They Clive are. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? Oh. He's the whistle. Nah. Nah. We have evidence. Why so certain? We thought so too. Why so Why certain? Why are you so certain Clive's the whistling man? Because he... All those years ago, he... It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he... Well... And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what. Mm. We found them, and we know it's related to what's happening tonight. Okay, so Clive is, is the one that just why walked did you up write in here. A false report. I. All right. One day, I came into work to find a a boy on my slab, and as I finished the autopsy, this man Clive, he just burst in and he started making demands to give over the reports to falsify what i found of course i said no but well when someone wants to make you do something they can use the carrot or the stick for me he used both 
You see, my sister is... sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. That's sad. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment mm. if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. Damn, okay. I don't know Jesus why he Christ. had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand. She needed me. We understand. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Speak for yourself, Peggy. Damn, bro. We gotta be a hey, listen. It's okay. We understand. I wouldn't have talked if it was my sister, too. Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I just want this nightmare to end. Well, this will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. So, what we got? So what we got, Peggy? So Virginia is tied up in all of this. Mm -hmm. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up exactly. these details? Who? Who? Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Okay. Do you want to call her? I do. Yeah. 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 All yeah, right. Yeah. But before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah. We need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. I'll be careful. All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Okay, okay, okay. So we we can't we can't get her to, you know. Aha! Uh -huh. Forest, you're through. Okay. Hello. All right, here we go. This is Sandra at Jazz Podcast. Don't be too pushy. Studio. Don't be Who's too this? pushy. Don't be Hello too pushy. Hello again, Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16. <laughs> you're doing screen. a great job, Forrest. And you're live Jesus on air. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Why, Forrest? Worse. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you asked. Oh, uh, why were you targeted? Be serious. That sounds nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna say, why were you targeted? Do you know why the whistling man might have targeted you? Ha! As far as I can tell, he was just a knife wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. Superhuman cardio. You know what? Right. What if there's well, multiple? We think he might be chasing specific people, people who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Um, you found the body. That. Don't play games. Are you keeping secrets? She said she didn't. She doesn't know anything about it, but she found the body. Sandra. We know you found George's body. We have the police report. Yeah. I, I don't know what you mean. What? Don't be a liar. It's okay. It's okay, Sandra. We know. You do? You know about? Uh, yes. Of course. <sighs> this studio is my life. Mm. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? What? 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 Get on with it. Sure. Sure. I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if Who? I just needed to keep quiet. And everything would be okay. So it was like some type of landlord or something like that. Of course. Who was he? Sandra? Who was he? He was... He said, if I told everyone I found the kid in the reservoir instead of the river, he... He... Uh, I'm sorry. I can't do this. No! And she's gone. I don't think that could have gone any better. You truly did great, Forrest. I did well, I, though? Folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts <sighs> on what's going on tonight, please call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just a second. Okay. All right. Whatever. Uh, let's talk to this Welcome person. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. 
Hi, Boris. I know this oh, God, is dude. The blue with everything is this the Ponty guy? But I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? I bet this is the pizza guy, man. I want to hear what? this. I'd welcome a change of pace. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Boris. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, uh -huh. but he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you'd like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God, damn it! <laughs> yes, tell him he can get the best birthday deals. And I can't. Here I can't stand pizza. this dude. Stop, you son of a bitch! Stop calling. Us. <laughs> Sorry, Forrest. Let's just move on. We've already got another caller on the line. <laughs> I can't stand this dude, man. He's so slick with it, though. Um, love the streams. I started. I just started watching recently, dude. Thank you, Brandon. Much the love, bro. Let up. I need to take the call. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, dude. I can't talk to chat for just one sec. Okay, hold up. Boom. Okay, cool. Easy. Uh, if I subscribe to your YouTube channel, wait, what? Yeah, go, go ahead and subscribe there. Yeah, I greatly appreciate it if you guys subscribe. You do yeah, all that stuff. Um, all right, let's do this. Caller waiting for us. This is 189.16, The Scream. The I'm Scream. Nash, you're on the air, Caller. <laughs> caller. What is happening? <sighs> is he laughing or crying? No, he's definitely Ponty. laughing. Ponty's Pizza always delivers. Come rain or sleet or whistling man. We'll be there. <laughs> hey, yo, I, I'm, I, I'm starting to think it's freaking Ponty. Forrest? I'm not going to lie to you. Are you okay? <sighs> Calm down, Forrest. Calm oh. down. It's okay, brother. Forrest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. See? Jesus, Forrest? That's self-promoting, man. Sorry. I know how it feels. That was too much. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. We've got another call. Whenever we've got you're another ready. call. Jesus Christ. Okay, here. Folks, don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. <laughs> That's. That's crazy. All I'm going to say about that. Moving along. I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. Who, may I say, is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Oh. Don. Don? We Don. played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. Oh, uh, we had a deal? Are you in danger? We had a deal. What do you mean? Uh, are you in danger? Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Hmm. Do you mean? Yes. He's after me now. You? She I doesn't. Think so he must have heard me on the radio helping you. She doesn't sound scared or anything. Helping. Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. I was out following. You the told lead, me trying to... to work out who would be next after Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. So I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. Me? Help you get inside? Of your own house? Axe a neighbor? Go elsewhere? Use a key? Uh... Don't you have a key to get in? Yeah. Only for the apartment door. The front gate requires an entry code. The future is electronic, what, what, what I guess. Do, how can I help you? that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there, too. It's the New Woodside apartment. New Woodside. Town Hall. I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. Okay. Shit. Uh, noisy part of town? 
Not a dog person? A neighbor's dog? I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's dog. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. Get him to open up the freaking door. Neighbor's name? Security system's name? Get your neighbor's attention. Mmm. Dude, I don't have anything to help her, really, dude. You know what I mean? Get your neighbor's... Can you get your neighbor's attention? That the whistling man will see me, Forrest. I can't do that. Why am I going to... What's your neighbor's name? What's your neighbor's name? I don't know my neighbors, remember? Please, I need to get in. What's the name of the security Dude, this system? Is, this is uh, sketch. On the box. It says Starling Security 4000. Starling Security 4000. And it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Okay. A lot of di digits. Sterling, huh? Hmm. Starling Security Starling. 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. I don't know about this, all right, man. Folks, I don't know. There's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Don into her apartment. Yeah, I don't know about this, man. That's not an emergency, dude. We're going to break. Yeah, let's play this. Let's see this. Okay. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something? Yeah, it, it wasn't just you. Something was weird. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't feel. Tell you what, we have a Starling Four Thousand or whatever here at KFAM. Okay. Clive bought one for the station. Yeah. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who, but to help someone. I, I don't. I don't feel comfortable. Her calling nine one one to break out into an apartment? And That's not a true emergency. Five probably has the papers for the Starling four thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? Like, Britt, uh, I, I'm not gonna. If I were them, I would not do that. So let's go back downstairs and probably grab that booklet. Let's look at this real quick. Um, introduction. Uh, our state of the art security system uses a six digit code system. Simply enter your code into the keypad and feel a uh, total peace of mind. The Starling Security Alarm System 4000 comes with a range of features. The default codes for these features are listed below. Note please change these codes immediately to prevent unwanted entry. Okay, access code, maintenance call alarm test warning uh this will set off all alarm measures Ooh. alarm uh test deactivation entry code okay so we have all the codes here and everything now hmm now the question is do i want to set off do i want to give her the the code to set off the alarms so her neighbor I just don't trust her, man. I just don't I just don't trust her. This isn't an emergency. You know what I mean? And she doesn't sound like she's like, oh my God, the whistling man, he's right down the street. Oh my God. She doesn't sound frantic. You know what I mean? She sounds calm and collected. You know what I mean? She doesn't know her neighbor's name at all. She doesn't uh she doesn't like dogs. She can't stand that her neighbor is playing music and everything. Um, I I just don't I just don't freaking trust her, man. I don't trust her. You know? Okay, let's do this. All right. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? What's up, Peggy? Stalling four thousand security manual. Mm -hmm. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? Nothing except the manual. All right. Well, I'll get Dom back on the line then, Forrest. I'll let you take it from here. Thanks, Peggy. 
When you're ready, shut the music off. All right, bet. Line one. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> Here we go. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. Mm. What's the code to the gate? Doesn't sound convincing. Give entry code. Give alarm test code activation. Give maintenance code. Give alarm deactivation code. I think I'm gonna give her the uh give her alarm test activation code. I think I'm just gonna set it off. Yeah. Yeah. So that hey, listen. If listen, listen. If I give her the code to test the activate uh, text the alarm, the pro the neighbor will probably hear it and everything and come downstairs and open the door if he recognizes her. Right? Let's do that. Let's do that. The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Ah! Is she? What? Yeah, stay out! Oh! Nobody disrespects the sanctity of the ring! Oh my god! Don't ever come back here again! I'm calling the cops! Thank god. Hello? Is someone there? Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. I knew it, dude. I um, had no idea. That was him. That was him. a whistling man. The alarm Excuse gave me? me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folk, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend, you know? Yeah, dude, right. hey. Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. I'm gonna barricade that window. My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want, forever. That's a done deal. Oh, I that was Roller thanks, Ricky. Ricky. Can't wait. So what did Roller Ricky it. have to do with Talk this? To you okay. Holy yeah, shit. music while we process. That's wild. Just happened. Wild. So we just saved the dude. Oh my god. We put all that stuff right there. Uh, what are we gonna play here? What are we gonna play? Let's play this. Final breath, right? Holy so shit. The whistling man is a woman. Hey, it could be, man. Yeah. Uh, I know. I can't believe it. I had my suspicions. Yeah, I wa uh, I worked at it a long time. I had my suspicions. Yeah, sure, Forrest. <laughs> you just never mentioned it. <laughs> she called up. You spoke to her multiple times. True. She did sound weird, though. Yeah, she seemed pretty normal. Uh, I knew she wasn't right. Uh, I knew she wasn't right. Is that right, Sherlock? Bruh, why are you doing this? Why do you really? think she requested that song? Ooh. To get me outside to mess with us. Maybe she actually wanted it. Ooh. To get, to me, get outside. me outside. Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. True. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. Mm. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay. Kill the music and you can make the announcement. Okay. Oh. Okay, right. you're live okay, in okay. three, two. Ah. Hey, this is Forrest Nash here. Uh -huh. I hope you're all safely locked inside. Mm -hmm. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman. Yeah. One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Uh, we're neighbor. Well, we're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. I'm sad to say, but it's time to trust no one. Ooh, I'm going to say we're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. Mm -hmm. The killer was calling themselves Don. Yep. Uh, this could be a fake name. Um, this could be a fake name. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. Okay. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. <laughs> oh, 
Stupid. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Mm -hmm. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, Have folks, call, yeah. time to take a call. Let's do it. To Forrest Nash on 189.6. Forrest Nash. The stream. Hey, man. Murphy? Oh. Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on, Murphy? You in danger again? No, nah, man. I've just been listening to the show here at home. And since you asked folks to call in if they could help out, well, I'm calling. I don't know if I can say as much as other folks have, but uh, I figure I wouldn't be a good role model to Fernando. <laughs> Fernando. You help, you know? Um, you're a good father. I appreciate it. Uh, what do you got? You're a good father, Murphy. That's right. Absolutely. Fernando's a lucky kid. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to know? Well, what can you tell us? Uh, I don't know, really. All right. Well, do you know anything about the death of George Barrow? Absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> what about the killer herself? Herself? Man, I, I didn't get my ass kicked by a lady. Dude, you got your ass kicked, then buddy. I went toe to toe with was a man. Nah, man. man. You heard the last call, right, Murphy? Nah, buddy. Yep. So you know it's a woman, and you were trained by a VHS, Murphy. I, I know, but... <laughs> man, how could it have been a woman under that mask? Let's just move on. Do you hey, know this is, man. anything about the history of the Whistling Man? No, sir. Tonight's the first time I ever heard of him. What? I moved here three years ago, man. What do you want from me? Huh. No worries. A waste of time. Nothing? So why was he targeted? Oh, well, he actually went looking for the Whistling Man. So the Whistling Man just probably was just going to off him because he was looking for trouble anyway. Nothing. You and Fernando just stay safe. Right. Sorry I couldn't help you all more, man. Now. You to ask me about gators. Forrest, <laughs> Gator. we have a call coming in. Sorry, Murphy. I think that's all we've got time for right now. Uh, uh, all right, all right. He just wanted to talk to I'll somebody, I swear. I'll with the gator talk later. <laughs> Not. Well, folks, that was a bust. Okay. But perhaps our next caller has more they can tell us. Let's find out. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. Oh. My name is Casey Moore. Okay. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best Nancy friend's been stabbed. He's he's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Nancy Drive. Nancy Drive. Nancy Drive. Where's Nancy Drive? Hold on. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Nancy Drive. Nancy. 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 Uh, Axe. Axe down. Jones. Where's Nancy Drive here? Axe Lane. Nancy Drive. Right here. Okay, rewind video rentals. Okay, all right. Nancy Drive, Infinity Arcade, Rise and Shine Coffee. <gasps> Wait, she's super close to the to the radio station. Super close. All right, let's go. Let's talk. Let's talk. All right, breathe. Is he still breathing? What happened? Mm. Somebody's been stabbed. Can, can you tell me what happened? We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place. When we heard this whistling all of a sudden, he just started freaking out. Mm -hmm. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that, and I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh no, Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person, and they just stabbed him. Damn. Oh boy. Was it the whistling man? Oh wait, was it a woman? Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. That's all I know. Of course. Please, we need help. Of course, here. of course. I'll get you help, but I need to know where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. Damn. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Wait, why didn't she make sure he was dead? Okay. Forrest, 
The ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at oh. the gas station. You should get all the info you can. Okay, okay. Uh, what's your friend's name? Where is he hurt? Do we really need... We need to know... Wait. Yeah, I want to know if she knows the friend's name. What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason! Jason Parker! Jason Parker. Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? Yeah, yeah. They stabbed him in the stomach. Okay. And then stabbed him again in his leg when Dang. he was on the ground. And it's... Dang! Oh, the knife is still there in his leg! Leave the we'll knife right there. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Wait, switch the line too? Okay. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. Stop, stop, stop with the we intro, man. a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is, well, you know. I yeah, know, we know that. Please, we need something or he's Jeez. going to die. Okay. Forrest, I, listen, you're going to have to get him here. Me? We see him and we can't get there ourselves Me? right now. Me? We don't have any way to drive him right now. Wait, we don't have a car? And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first and then finding someone to stabilize him. Okay. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. I actually do. Uh, <sighs> damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. Okay. You think you can handle that? Uh, we don't have much choice. We can handle it. Hit me. I'm sure we can handle it. Okay. From the top. If he's bleeding out, yep. then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Okay. Lay him down. Yep. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Mm -hmm. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Yep. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? At the object he was stabbed with. Leave him. it in. Don't take it out. Do not take out that freaking Stopping knife. Stopping the horse of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, that was a lot of info. It's not, it but wasn't I think a we lot can of handle info. this. Peggy, Let's come on. So get go. it together. Get it together. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Are you still? Uh, are you sure you can't stay? Uh, I can't keep up. Keep going. Keep going. I'm still with you, Doc. I'm here with you. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. Okay. If he does, act fast. Yeah. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Okay. Just apply another on top of it. All right. Sounds good. If it's safe. Elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Oh, okay. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. <laughs> Okay. All right, Forrest. Here we go. Casey's still on line one. Woo! Here we go. All right, we, we gotta save this line. Hey, hey. Oh, so Casey. Y'all. All right. How are you holding up? How's Jason? Uh, we're wait. We're on our own. Uh, how's Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Okay, so he's still I bleeding now. All right. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. Okay. But he's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. All right, so... That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? Keep it's the... It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it no. out? No! Do not pull that freaking knife out. Don't touch the knife. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse yes. if you pull it out. Yes, okay? Are you sure? Oh, God, dude. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. Yep. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Y yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, Okay, though. okay. His, his stomach... We need to secure the knife. Leave the knife alone. Okay. Don't... I'm, I'm just going to say leave the knife alone. The knife... I don't even want her touching it. I know, yeah, like securing it would be like, all right, okay, keeping the knife in there. But she might mess up. And like remove the knife, okay? I'm gonna and plus 
securing the knife would probably cause the freaking patient to like panic a little bit more you know more pain and all that stuff so we're going to leave the knife alone all right i i think we need to leave that knife alone all right okay i'll just keep putting pressure on his stomach yep, for now yep. forrest can i have a word what now now isn't the best time peggy can it wait forrest it's kind of important what what, right. what do you need give me a second Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Oh Peggy. my god, Peggy. He's putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything and we'll be there. I promise. What? Okay. Are, what's more no important way. right here, Peggy? Jason, please be okay. Oh. Pe oh. What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize What them. the fuck are you He's talking about, Peggy? Peggy, we helped out all of these people tonight. All of these people. We stayed on the line with them for freaking however long. But this person you want me to hang up on? What the f what is what is wrong with her? Should I have to drive him? Any suggestions? Could someone uh could somebody help? Uh what are you talking about, dude? Should I have to she'll she'll have to drive him. Any suggestions? I wanna Any suggestions, Peggy? Yeah. I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Okay. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? Never mind. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive. That's right. Yeah. It's super well, close. They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Wait, 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 wait. Did you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. Oh my god, Peggy. I've only ever called Peggy, Karen. Peggy, Peggy. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Wait. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. Go on, naturally. Go on. It's sensitive information. So Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do we know the code? Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Of course. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Okay. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Mm. Right. There is something else. I'm not going to like this, am I? Keep coming. Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information on them. You Wait, what year is this? You put computer and they do something. Peggy... I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything- Jason's Casey, dead. I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. Oh my You'll God. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Okay. All right, cool. I just have to look around. Yeah, just got to look around, I guess. Ah, private. This is probably his office. Aha. Looks like I need a four-digit code. Okay, a four-digit code, huh? Okay. And the future is floppy, so it might be on a floppy disk. Right? Don't need that. Check these drawers. Check these drawers. Aha! Floppy disk, huh? Let me see this. Okay, nothing's here. But we're going to put that in there. Could this be it? What the heck? Wait, can I write something? Da -da 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 -da, pizza color. Da -da -da -da. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. Wait, wait, wait. There are some freaking uh, things here. It takes place on 1107. Okay, let's remember that. Maybe partner with Ponzi's Pizza for the lunch 110. Hmm. Remember 1107. 1107. Oops. Okay. 
We're going to remember that, but I want to search. I want to see if there is a what? Uh, oh, let's try it. 11. Oh, seven. Nice. Okay, nice. What is this? All right, let's take this out. Okay, put this right here. Okay, let's uh, let's just read over this. Oh wait, John refused to engage with the first aid trainer during the course. I know he was a, a war medic. Mmm, a war medic, but it was a uh, station policy to send everybody regardless. Da -da -da. John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home. Ooh. He procured from the military at the end of his service. Is that legal? Do you need to report him? Spoke to John again about eating the free samples. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, we'll stop. Uh, okay. 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 L Is it un-American to reprimand a... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, ah, oh, here it is right here. All right, let's talk to her. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? Exactly. I think I know who to call. I got the safe uh, open. Now what? Oh, no. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I? Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Oh, sheesh. Jason Oh. What's happening? What do I do? Okay. Uh, did he have booze earlier? No. Don't care. He's going into shock. Uh, Peggy, what did uh, what did the nurse say? Nope. He's probably going to shock right now, dude. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. Okay. It's going to be okay. But the bleeding seems to slow down. Did I mess up? No, no, Jason, no, no. I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I. I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Okay, elevate his wounds. Uh, elevate Jason's wounds. No, I don't want her to elevate Jason's wounds because she might just elevate him and everything. I want her to elevate uh Jason's legs so the blood can go to his vital organs. Elevate legs. Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. We still did not put any rags on her. Okay. I propped his legs up on some boxes. Okay. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Yeah. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah. I still have some laundry next to me. I'll wrap him in some blankets. Just give me a second. <sighs> sorry, sorry. She. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. Keep pr okay. keep pressure on that wound. Just relax now, okay? Sorry, I'm scared. He's not doing well. Is he? Is he gonna? It's, it's gonna be fine. Be strong for Jason. Uh, it's not looking good. You know, I'm going to say be strong for him. Okay. Casey, I need you to be strong for Jason. Come on. Sit with him and reassure him that everything is going to be okay. 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 Mm, my gosh. Hey, I can't give him what he needs. Please sit down. I can't lose him. All right, Forrest, we need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier. Who was it? Uh, John Hedges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call Karen. Call no, no. Call John Hedges. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. That's true. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. Yes. He's probably the most trained person we have. Come on. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah. Give him a and call. Give him a call. According to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. Mm. He's something of a hoarder. All right. And he's What's on Nancy Drive. Uh, five four. Oh, okay, cool. Two, zero seven three five. Calling now. Let's help you pick. Uh, who the hell is this calling me? At? What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Come on, John. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn. No, bro. No, Just no, no. Note no. Like everybody else. 
Uh, this is a medical emergency. Someone uh, has been stabbed. Uh, the whistle man is back. I'm going to say this is a medical emergency. Mm, he might just tell me to go freaking. Oh, what do I do? If I say this is a medical emergency, he might just be like, yo, just go to the hospital. Or should I just be, be like, yo, someone has been stabbed. Ooh, 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 ooh. What should I do? What should I do? Medical emergency. Someone's been stabbed. Someone's been stabbed. Medical emergency. Mm -hmm. I'm, I think I'm going to do somebody has been stabbed. Yeah. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man. Or, never mind. He's lost a lot of blood and he's passed out. Come on. We need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I, I haven't been called on for over 10 years. You got this, though, bro. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. You're I think right we got there. his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Mm -hmm. Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. Mm -hmm. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg. And the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Okay, good. Good, good, good. If he dies on my watch. That's Thank right, you, Joel. John. Don't fucking break Let him know you're on your way. Good luck. Oh. Hello, Casey. Are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak and then just started thrashing. Thrashing? Thrashing? How's he now? Are you hurt? What about now? Is he still thrashing? Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. Dude, he's probably on the edge. Someone is coming. You guys are just fine. Just hold on. For just me, hold okay? on, bud. Just hold just on, hold man. Hold on. Come on. Hello, Casey. This is John Hedges. I'm here about Jason. Please let me in. Come on, come on. Let him in. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Ooh. Casey, I'm gonna need your help. Oh. Peggy, he he didn't morning. sound super, uh... Okay. Forrest, we'll call you back later. Oh, I have to go geez, now. Dude. Uh, Good luck, everyone. Okay. All right. God, I hope he's going to be all right. And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. <sighs> well, after all that excitement, oh. I think we could use some music. Yeah? Yeah. Come back upstairs when you're ready. Oh, okay. Sick. <laughs> What's up, Peggy? <laughs> What's up, Peggy? Just wiping my tears. I Don't worry. A record on. Don't worry, Peggy, about me. I'm okay. I'm okay, Peggy. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's just play some music. Don't worry about me. Okay. Turn this sheet. Late. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. Oh my God! It's a banger! Oh! Dang! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's stop the music. Come on. I'm ready. Let's roll. You got it. Mm-hmm. We've got another call coming through, too. Okay, here we go. Welcome back to 189.16. Welcome back to 189.16. How are you tonight, Collar? Forrest. Oh, it's Roller Ricky. Hey, Roller Ricky. Mm. Oh, and Maxie's oh. here too. Um, good to hear from you. Uh, what's on your mind? Are you okay? Hello to you both. What's on your mind, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Hmm. Really? Info uh, from the attack? I'm waiting. Really? Oh, what's that? Yeah. You see, man. Uh, me and Jason know each other. Jason. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. Jason. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right. And <laughs> Runner Ricky. what does that Roller have Ricky. to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team, too. That's why they were after him. Tell me about him. 
Keep talking. Tell me about him. What was George like? I didn't know him for long, man. Sad to say. We had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. I beat feet man, out of there. What, what does that mean? I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love. Who was this girl? <gasps> you didn't see it, you know? Who? Tell us about her. What was her name? <gasps> what was her name? Ricky, please. What was her name? I never got her name, man. He just called her Bean. Bean? I didn't really know her what before the? or see her after that. Then what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were... Just having a good time, and then the next thing I knew, everyone was running for their life. I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. Oh, that's what and, happened. And I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. Mm. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but uh, I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. Oh, God. Don't blame yourself, yeah. bud. Don't blame yourself. Oh, uh, it wasn't your fault. That's horrible. Maybe, <laughs> maybe if you hadn't run, that's crazy to say to him. Ricky, it wasn't your fault. You're not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. Took a long time to learn, but... Yeah. Just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. This helps. Thank you. You got it, ma'am. Anyway. Thank you. I think it's time for me and Max to free up your phone lines. Thanks for listening, man. So, I'll let you do it. Ah! So, nice, is he Ricky. calling like 911 to get, get a hold of me or what? All right, folks. Looks like we got a new lead in the case. If anyone has any info about this mysterious bean, please call in. If she was George's girlfriend back then, she's probably in her mid to late 30s now. Oh. Huh. Oh, we have another call coming in. But hang on. What's up? What's up, Peggy? Oh. Uh, what's... Peggy? Yeah, Peggy. You, you good? You're going to want to take this call off the air. Uh -huh. Who is it? Just do it. Okay. Uh... All right, folks. It's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Okay. Uh, here you go. Let's turn this down. Okay. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Peggy, why are you keeping? Okay, Hello? let's see. Forest. Leslie. I'm glad I got <gasps> back to you. Yo, it's now, freaking Leslie. Huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator. Oh my gosh! A charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, we got back into range, Sorry. range a yeah. while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. Uh, it's been a long night. So help is on the on his way? Mm. Ever since you found Sheriff Matthews, it's only gotten worse. Oh, dang. It's been a long yeah, night. I didn't wanna... Well, it shouldn't be too much longer now. I'm glad I got through to you. Thanks. I, I wanted to let you all know Jeez. what's going on. I was wild. I made it to Henderson. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines, and they had no idea what was happening. Hmm. After I told them, well, their sheriff sent a goddamn squad back with me to stop this. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? Probably. I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. I bet it's, it's multiple people. I swear. 
I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the Whistling Man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Okay. Um, haven't we helped enough? Uh, what did you do? Gallows Creek is too big. Uh, what do you, what do you need? You can count on us. What do you need? Let's do it. It might be a long shot, but here goes. The Whistling Man already called up a few times. Okay. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. Ha. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. Okay, 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 we'll okay, okay. I get it, I get you, I get so you. once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Martinez, like, awake and good? She was, like, knocked out, right? I'll do my best. I'll uh, do my I'll best. do my best. I, mean, I you know, know hey. I can't promise you anything. I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway... I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. All right, let's do it. Hopefully the next time what I do you mean see other cars? With our killer behind bars. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. All right. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Oh, uh, let's get back on there. I hope you're right. Um, I don't need, I don't think it's going to be that easy. I hope you're right. Yeah, I hope you're right. The sooner Jeez. this is over, the better. I am right. Trust me. Okay, okay. Anyway, Jeez. we should get you back on air. Taking callers is the only way to see this through. Yeah, let's do it. Time to turn the music off. Okay. Bring Don't yell at me. Live. Jeez. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. Hey. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Hold up. I can't do it. Evening, Colin. Hello. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John, is is he gonna be okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. Let's go. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Yes. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, Let's go. you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us whenever he's up for it. It well, is. Why don't you tell him yourself? Hey, Jason. This Forrest. Jason, the one and only Jason. Jason, we meet at last. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach. Yeah. And yeah. there's a knife in my leg. Yeah. But John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> don't don't make yourself laugh right now, bud. Don't make yourself laugh. Come on now. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But uh, before that, I I needed to call you. Call me for Guessing what? Guessing the whistling man is still out there. Yeah, buddy. Yep. Uh, why do you ask about that? I'm gonna you know I'm gonna ask why do you ask. Yes, the Whistling Man's still out there. Why do you ask? You know something about the Whistling Man, don't Ooh. you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I mean, we they tried to kill about you. what happened earlier? Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. Okay. You spoke to Ricky? Was he... Is he all right? He is now. I mean, he was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Mm. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You feel Jason okay, in yeah. on what happened? I'll be right back. Sure, Peggy. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Oh, okay, Peggy's uh, going to talk to the yep. other person. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And really? And you who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on like it never existed. Uh, what happened? Who killed? Uh, who killed George? Um, 
Wait. Nah, he didn't kill him. I'm not stupid. The killer is a woman, right? Uh, what happened? What happened that night? I went along with the stupid prank. That's what. Mmm, prank. Night. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. Hmm. Haze. Decided to huh? plan a party in the woods. Always After hazing. Whistling man crashing. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. At the party that night, I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone. Come on, Started man. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Bean? Is that who you mean? Bean. Oh, yeah. I guess George did call her that. What was her name? Yeah. Do you know her name? He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was... What? Whoa! What happened? Are we still on air? What was she saying? How do we get it back on? I don't, uh... Oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Reggie picked it up a while ago in case we ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. Okay. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack? <laughs> nuclear war? What the heck? Broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Of course, of course. Fair point! It's in the storage area. Storage area. Up on the wall. Okay, okay. You might have spotted it wall. earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Okay, sounds good. Well, what? See you when you're back. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, this is, this is kind of, this is, this is kind of weird. Um, I don't like, I don't like this, man, at all. Power went out. You want me to leave you alone like that? Downstairs in the basement, right? Let's go. All this stuff. Ah, this that thing. Yeah. Boom. Boom. We've got power. Sick. Okay. The no. Man. I need to warn Peggy. Wait. Wait, wait. How, how do we warn her? How do we warn her? Bruh, if I run into the freaking I will kill her, bruh. Don't do that. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. Okay, how am I going to warn her? Uh, let's go. Come on. Ho ah! What did I just hear? I thought he was right behind me, man. Oh my god. Uh Let's let's go. Come on. Hello? All right, come on. Let's go. What the hell? Oh! What was that? Okay, on the air. Ah, why is she on the air again? What the heck? The uh, what? It's why locked. It locked. What? <gasps> why oh! Is it locked? What? Why is it locked? Where is what? she? Why is it locked? Okay, calm, calm down. Oh no, <laughs> Peggy, where'd calm you go? go? Oh! Oh, no way. The... No way. This can't be happening. Whoa. Huh? What what do you want me to do? Get off the table, fool. Uh Oh. Okay. A, a call. Do you think I know how to work this? Oh. Where's Peggy? Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. Got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. Okay, what do you mean? I'd rather not? Alright. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? I Whoa. thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. Who? The one who started it all. George? 
Uh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Teddy? Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. What? It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But even if he crawled out of his coffin with all the money in the world... Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows he'll get it. Wait! Wait! Then who? Wait, then. No who way. Am I no way, no way. Forrest Nash, let me introduce you. No way. All of Gallows Creek. To my boy, Henry Barrow. Henry Barrow? This is a lot. Your your son? Your son? You mean you like the that he? Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. So this and is Murphy, her son? He, he was right, wasn't he? He did fight a man. He did. I taught my boy to never run away from a fight. Hang on. Did you say barrel? Then are you? Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. There we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh, oh. my god. Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, oh damn. God damn it. <laughs> Not Don, huh? Quiet, Teddy. What's go where where's this going? Hmm. Where are you going with all of this? Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. Okay. This night. Listen to me. You ah. Damn. You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a word. Yo, before. she is beating his ass right now. I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Yeah. Uh I'll do it. Why should I? Why, Why should, should I help you? Why? Why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? No goddamn idea, Forrest. These people, these people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... <laughs> Good God! I you speak when you're spoken to. Hey, Teddy, I think you should shut the hell up, man. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight, and... Piecing together Yikes. what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. Okay. I can do that. If you say so. Are you serious? I can do that. Interview you. Uh, all right. I can do that. I got to buy him some time. I want you to help me and Teddy tell the story for us. <sighs> do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. <sighs> I really don't care about him, but you know he doesn't deserve to die. Out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek, and if I can find out where Marie is, oh, this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was twenty years ago. That's just something that you don't forget, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him, Marie. God dang. Be honest. Do you want to die? I'm going to ask him that. Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't start talking. Uh, damn. Oh, what the hell? God damn it. Okay. Our first team party was coming up. Okay. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Prank him, huh? Whistling a night, right? Uh, tell me why that night. 
mm, I need to drag it on. So I gotta, I gotta ask them. I gotta keep on asking them questions. I don't want to answer them, right? Uh, the night Mooney vanished. Tell me why that night. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. Mooney went missing, huh? We couldn't pass it up. I was just surprised. No one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? Oh. I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Okay. Uh, God. Who was there? Me, Jason, and George. Me, George, Jason, and George, huh? But yeah. George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. Mm. And Roller Ricky. He was there too, wasn't he? Yes. Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky, our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know. Because I'm a decent Yeah, I guess. Man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. He wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. Okay. So I helped him keep himself together. Keep talking, bud. Keep talking. You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. Mm. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there. Jason. Bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man. But that was fake. He wasn't stabbed, right? Screaming. George and I and Ricky. We got left behind, but Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. No, Ricky didn't know. Did you ask Ricky? And so he deserves to die? Ah, uh, wait a second. Did Ricky actually know? I think he did because he, he was talking about the prank, right? Ricky didn't know, right? I don't know. Did you ask Ricky? Did you ask Ricky if he knew or not? I didn't see any reason to. Why? Because Ricky phoned up earlier. He didn't know anything about it, Marie. What? He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. Oh. If we told him, he would have given everything away. But he... Well... Ah, see, Marie? About to kill innocent people. Enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. How? It was just a stupid prank. It was a stupid prank. Just a prank. Go to hell. <laughs> Hit him, Marie. Just a prank. How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh come on! I. Oh. Damn. God damn it! You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you, did. you stabbed him for real. It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help yep. just in time. Oh. Well, shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. He's going to regret that. He's going to regret that. Jeez. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but somehow got separated in the woods. Okay. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me. I scream. And he starts laughing. Telling me it's, it's just a joke. Uh, I can stall for time here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who was he? What happened next? How did you feel? Mmm. Mmm. Who was it? Oh, you know what? I want to know how she felt. I want to know how she felt. I feel like we can dive into that. You know what I mean? Diving into her emotions. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small and confused. And Who was under the mask? What happened next? Hmm. Yeah, what happened next? No. Should I move on to the next thing? Ooh. 
who was under the mask. I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna stay in here. I don't want to move on. I want to ask who who was under the mask. Who was under the mask, Marie? Who was the whistling man? It was Chuck. Chuck, Chuck Brody. Laughing away, but then he stopped. The gas station owner. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Said it. What happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just Teddy. George fell off Dang. Whistling Point. Oh, it was freaking George. George fell off. Where were you? How do you, how do you know? Why did he fall? Mmm. Oh. I'm gonna. Uh, damn. But wait a second. How did he fall? Did he just run off? Wait. I'm confused. Because the whistling man grabbed Marie. So who drove him to to fall off a of whistling point? How do you know? Where were you? Where were you when it happened? I. Uh... You pushed him. <gasps> you were up there. Dressed as the whistling man, oh too. Oh my god. I didn't push him, god damn it. I just chased him up there and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains. Shut the hell up, Teddy. You're. I tried to tell him. Oh, Teddy, you don't want to call her that right now, bro. After all you did. I believe her. Then why the cover-up? Even if you didn't push uh, push him. Mm. I want to ask them why the cover-up. Cover if she's lying, why the cover-up? My future was at stake, Nash. He's a you sheesh, know dude. What it's like. Politicians, politicians, dude. I'm going to be the mayor of this town, Forrest, and then governor, and then who knows? Politicians, man. That night was tragic. It should never have happened. Yeah. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? George was a blip? Wait, wait, wait. He wasn't a blip. That's evil. He, listen, he wasn't, he a, wasn't blip. a blip. He right. wasn't a blip. Okay. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night. But Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She lied? She said something about her rent going up. Unless oh, she... wow. Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. Oh, answer the question. Is that a yes? Hit him again. <laughs> uh, answer the question. I'd answer the question if I were you, Teddy. Yes. Okay. We own the most of the town. Mm. That's it then. Your father was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too. Oh, shit. Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. Yup. Ah, the, all the contradictions that was in those in that report. I'm, I'm sorry. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. Uh huh. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even, even still. 
She should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no, that coward killed the story. Mm. But Maurice Russell is dead now. You've been through hell. This has to stop. When will the killing end? Oh. I, you know what? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid if I say this, this has to stop, she'll freaking murder him. When will the killing end? She's going to murder him. I'm going to be like, yeah, listen, I understand. You've been through hell. Okay? I'm going to be understanding here. Okay? You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. Never. Damn! That Marie! You started! <laughs> Damn, you shouldn't have pushed my door open. You should have been punished. It's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here. Our Jordan and I first met. Before he joined the football team. Before we joined the football team. Well, right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. Football field? The roller rink? Wait, the football field. The what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Huh? Wait. It's the gym? Alright, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I thought he was a freaking football player. Gallows Creek High in the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. <laughs> but it matters. But yeah, <laughs> we're here. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So, Marie, where? Oh my God! Peggy, Peggy, Peggy! Teddy, you gotta help me. I. Quiet. You'll talk more later. Now I have to talk to someone who mattered more than you ever did. Peggy. Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. Marie. Oh my God! I thought you. And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. Oh my god, it was her freaking Sister? Sister? Peggy, wh what's happening? Why are you even there? Wanna explain, Peggy? Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. No, you did not. You remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. Oh, shit, dude. When you walked in, you found out. That my sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why did this you is tell freaking me this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try That's to why you recognize the voice. When we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. You should have said... I'm sorry. This has to be... A lot for you. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just... Disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been with George. And... And... It's okay. It's okay, Marie. Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's Mom and Dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well... I'll have to settle for the next best thing. I'm gonna say next best thing. Me, Peggy. Next best thing. Do you mean someone has to pay for what they did? Murray, please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Come on, dude. Besides, you forgot. No, me. she didn't. Just like the rest. You forgot. Is there any way I can prove Peggy didn't forget Marie? Dude, she didn't. She didn't. Wait. 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 Wait, 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 wait. What was this? Happy birthday, sis. <gasps> Happy birthday, Peg. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. 
She kept a card from you. Yup. She, she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, Em. I... Well, I... Don't disregard it. <gasps> no! Henry, get out of there! Oh, no! Oh, hey, 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 Leslie, how's Peggy? Hey! She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. I'll be okay. God, Marie! Hey, Zara! I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now, we got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. Oh my God! Hey, can I put my hands down now or what? Well, folks, I don't want to get shot. It was a long night, but we made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. Lot. This is Ben, Forrest Nash. Good night and good morning. Let's make tomorrow better. It's been a oh, <laughs> and it's been a scream. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. Yo. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, wait. What's up? Maurice. Damn, we saved all these people. Oh my gosh. And we messed up on Maurice. That's it. That's all. Dang. That was so dope. Jumped off the whistling point. Officer Lugo, do you have a visual? Negative. No sign of the suspect anywhere. Wow. I really like that game. Um, although it wasn't like crazy, crazy horror, it had like a little horror to it. It was more suspenseful than anything. And uh that I don't know, man. I, I really, I really loved it. I don't know. Those calls and everything were super stressful. So I suggest everybody. Uh, give this game a try for sure. Plus, we only lost one person, dude. I couldn't do it without chat, too. You know what I mean? I would have probably killed a whole bunch more people. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that freaking subscribe button if you guys haven't. And hit that like button. Tell me how you guys, uh, what you guys thought of the game in the comments. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye.